Chapter 161 First Mention of Corrupt Devils Translator Born to be my dream is to become one. Big. Scoundrel. Hearing Long Chen's words, Tang Wan'er couldn't even believe her own ears. But then she immediately realized Long Chen was just acting wacky again. She laughed. Then congratulations. You've already achieved your dream. You are definitely already a 100% scoundrel. Her eyes sparkled and rippled as she laughed. Her pretty smile lighting up her face like a blossom in bloom. Long Chen paused. Tang Wan'er truly was beautiful. Not at all inferior to Chu Yao. He shook his head. It's not as simple as you think. I want to become a remolded and completely upgraded scoundrel with dreams, accomplishments, integrity, and meaning. Although that goal is distant, I know that if I work hard and put in all my effort, I will definitely achieve it one day. Long Chen looked up into the sky with yearning. Tang Wan'er continuously shook as she tried to hold back laughter. She wrapped him, scolding. Don't tease me and make me laugh. There were far too many people here. Although the two of them were being quiet and low-key, there were still many people watching them. So Tang Wan'er could only hold back her laughter as best as she could. But then Long Chen kept teasing her with that completely serious face. Probably no one could resist laughing. I'm not teasing you. I'm telling the truth. You just can't understand. I guess you're still too immature. Lamented Long Chen, acting as if it were lonely standing at the top. TCH. What are you acting so grand for? When were you born? I bet I'm bigger. Long Chen looked up and down Tang Wan'er's body and said, Well that depends on what we're comparing. 1. Tang Wan'er immediately blushed, angrily glaring at him. Scoundrel, are you asking for a beating? How can you say such crude things? Long Chen sighed happily inside. The monastery would definitely be much more fun than he had expected. With a beauty he could tease every day, the time would definitely pass much quicker. The only thing that continued to constantly nag him despite his attempts to push those thoughts away was Chu Yao. Had she required to pass a trial to join the Skywood Palace? Once the situation had stabilized here, he had to quickly go take a look. In his mind, Chu Yao was too naive and sincere. He was afraid she would be wronged in the Skywood Palace. Just as Long Chen was lost in thought, a disturbance suddenly spread through the crowd. Long Chen raised his head to see that over ten elders had walked to the front of the stone wall. Those elders were all wearing gray robes with old, stiff expressions. The bright light that roved within their eyes released a pressure so that others wouldn't dare look directly at them. Their auras were absolutely enormous. Although they hadn't released their auras, but just that reserved feeling gave them the feeling that they were volcanoes. Once they erupted, they could destroy the land. It's rumored that the elders in the monastery are bone-forging experts. Tang Wan'er quietly whispered to Long Chen. Long Chen nodded. No wonder they looked so powerful. The experts of a sect were completely different existences from the experts of the secular world. The two were incomparable. Those seniors only indifferently swept their gaze over everyone without saying a word. In front of the stone wall was an immense set of stairs 30 meters high. They all jumped up, sitting down cross-legged on those stone steps and closing their eyes. Long Chen was curiously wondering what they were doing when someone descended from the sky, landing on the top of the stone steps. Long Chen immediately recognized that person. That was Elder Tu Fang who had given him his registration card. When Elder Tu Fang arrived, those seniors all stood up and bowed to him. Tu Fang also returned a bow, and those people once more sat back down. During this entire process, not one person said a single word. The entire crowd was completely silent. The atmosphere was so heavy that it was hard to breath. Tu Fang's arrival indicated that the final trial was about to begin. Those who haven't collected the full tablet must retreat 300 meters. Tu Fang's voice was like a loud bell, his voice filled with dignity and majesty. It echoed against the stone wall of the huge crowd that had gathered here. A huge portion immediately withdrew, leaving just over 3,000 people. Long Chen was astonished. Wasn't this only a 75% washout rate? How were there so few people left? If one in four had managed to pass, then of the 30,000 people at the beginning, at least 7,000 should have gathered the tablet. But Long Chen immediately thought of the problem. If people lost or damaged their tiles, or perhaps ended up dying to magical beasts, then that meant a set had been destroyed. And perhaps it was also like senior apprentice brother Wan had said at the beginning. Some people who knew they wouldn't pass would just directly destroy their own tile. If they couldn't pass, they would at least drag down three others. Of course, if four people with different tiles all had the same thought, all together that would just be one set. Those reasons could explain why there were so few people. Of 30,000 people, only 3,000 remained. 
that elimination rate was absolutely shocking. Tu Fang nodded as he looked over these remaining people. I will be in charge of this last trial. You can all see that there are over 9,000 caves behind me. That place is the location of your final trial. Tu Fang pointed to the stone wall behind him. Following his movements, those seniors slowly opened their eyes. A stone pillar slowly rose in front of each of them. Those stone pillars were a couple feet thick and rose around three meters high. All kinds of strange-looking lines covered them, giving them an incredibly ancient feeling. When those stone pillars appeared, all the elders extended their hand and placed it on their respective stone pillar, inserting boundless energy into it. Those lines adopt the stone pillars began to glow as the elders inserted more energy, almost seeming to come to life. B-U-Z-Z-Z. When those lines completely lit up, a booming sound came from the entire stone wall. The land trembled as terrifying pressure shot out, seeming to want to crush people into dust. That was a kind of spiritual pressure that came from the deepest depths of a person's soul. It would cause someone to involuntarily feel both reverence and terror. Almost none of them could help taking a couple steps back. That was just a kind of instinct. But there were six people who didn't retreat, still staying standing in their original location like relaxed cypresses. They were Tang Wanur, Ye Hikyu, Lai Kian Shang, Qi Xin, Yu Zifeng, and also Long Chen. Tu Fang looked at these six and nodded. This time there were six experts. If the other regions also had that many, the Zhuangshan monastery's rise to the top would be impossible to stop. Crack. 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 Following the shaking of the stone wall, stone doors that originally had completely sealed their caves slowly began to rise. That sight was almost as if a fiend was opening its eyes, and a sinister air blew over, causing people to shiver. The insides of the caves were pitch black, so they were unable to see inside. It was only with the light of the stone pillars that people could see that atop each cave were a couple talismans. These caves are your final test. There are three different trials. Outer Disciple, Inner Disciple, and Core Disciple. Tu Fang pointed to the thousands of caves behind him. You can all see that these caves are not all the same size. The lower layer contains 5,876 caves. Those are the Outer Disciple trials. If you pass, you will become an Outer Disciple of our monastery. Only then did Long Chen realize that the caves on the stone wall were split into three layers. The size of the caves were a bit different, but the difference wasn't that great. If it wasn't for Tu Fang's indication, it was difficult to tell. The middle layer has 3,096 caves for the inner disciple trial, and the upper layer has 187 caves for the core disciple trials. If you want to become a core disciple, you must pass through one of them. Everyone's gazes were focused on those caves. They were filled with anticipation. Once they passed this, they would become true disciples of the Zhuangshan Monastery. Within the trial region, there were many people who hadn't managed to obtain anything good. So they needed to join the Zhuangshan Monastery even more so that they could obtain something. But before this trial, I need to tell you guys a story. Listen carefully, because this will involve your future life and death. Tu Fang solemnly looked over everyone. Those two words, life and death continued to echo throughout their heads, smashing their hearts like hammers. Within their families, they were precious treasures. But here, they had become just weeds. They would never be the leading figure again. Furthermore, many people had seen geniuses on the same level as them die in the trial region. Their courage had been broken, as that was the first time they had ever been so close to death. Seeing everyone was appropriately pressured, Tu Fang nodded and continued. You are all disciples from powerful families and have been doted on greatly. Your talents are extraordinary and your families have placed great hopes on you. But after this long of a trial, have you all realized that you are just a group of trash? His words were completely indifferent without the slightest emotion. There was not the slightest bit of ridicule. It was as if he was simply stating a fact that infuriated many people as they felt they had been insulted. Will you be cowardly in the face of death? Will you be indecisive? Will you want to give up? If you think you will, then don't refuse to accept that you are trash. Those magical beasts within the trial region were all placed there by the monastery. Most of them were second-rank magical beasts. In normal circumstances, if you even used 80% of your strength, you would be able to easily kill them Novaloon.com but the actual results have greatly disappointed me. Within the trial were 1,587 people who died just to weak second-rank magical beasts. Tell me. Are you guys trash or not? In front of a second rank magical beast, if you don't have any experts as guards, you'll all be terrified. Under the threat of death, you are unable to use even half of your strength. 
If you aren't trash, then what are you? Tu Fang's words caused the majority of people to lower their heads in shame. They truly were just as Tu Fang described. With the threat of death hanging over them, they would all be terrified and unable to use their full strength. Some of them, who had barely managed to escape from the grip of death, were still dealing with a lingering trauma. Don't try to give me any excuses. Your family's never tempered you enough and have pampered you too much. Experts are only able to become experts because they are willing to do anything to become stronger. As for weaklings, they don't even have a chance to find an excuse. That is because they will all die. Tu Fang icily continued as he saw there were still many people who were unconvinced. Tang Wan'er stealthily glanced at Long Chen when she heard Tu Fang's words. He was expressionlessly looking up into the sky. How come his words seemed so similar to Tu Fang's? I'm telling you this is an alarm bell. Cultivation is a path of no retreat. If you are afraid of death, then just leave. That is because what you will be facing today are just some childish playthings. That is because your future enemies will be 10,000 times more terrifying than them. We've decided to give them a name. Corrupt Devils. Chapter 162 Terrifying Trial Translator. Born to be Corrupt Devils. This unfamiliar term was something Long Chen had never heard of. But he could clearly sense the extremely ancient, sinister aura coming from those caves. The majority of the crowd had also never heard of that term. From their blank expressions, he could tell this was a kind of secret. But when he looked at Tang Wan'er, he saw her expression hadn't changed. It seemed she had long since known what a corrupt devil was. The corrupt devils I speak of aren't what you imagine. They are not the goblins and ghosts from your childhood myths and stories. They are corrupt devil cultivators. And this trial will be to death ensuring those cultivators. Chop off their heads and you will pass. Explained Tu Fang. Everyone let out startled cries as they all looked towards the stone wall. Yes. Each of those caves contains a corrupt devil cultivator. We term them corrupt cultivators. Their cultivation methods are completely different from ours. They are extremely sinister and ruthless. They are even more berserk than magical beasts. You can still choose to give up now. So think about it carefully. Said Tu Fang. The entire crowd was silent. Currently there were only just over 3,000 of them that had made it to this point. But what Elder Tu Fang was talking about was too shocking. Their hearts pounded nervously. What kind of joke is this? Let them come. We're all geniuses. Do you think we'll be scared away by just words? HMPH. If the rest of you don't dare, then let me. Li Chang Fang. Take the lead one man ran out of the crowd arrogantly. Blood key surged from him as he held a long sword. He was an expert. Think about it properly. This isn't an ordinary trial, but a life and death battle. The slightest carelessness will cause you to lose your life. Warned Tu Fang. Don't worry elder. Disciple understands, replied that person. Tu Fang sighed somewhat helplessly. Why did every year always start with this kind of opening? Was that the will of the heavens? If you want to take the lead, then come. Choose a cave according to your power level. If you feel like you cannot win, you can immediately flee from the cave and save your life. Tu Fang gave one final warning to everyone. Long Chen was slightly startled. Looking at the stone pillars in front of those elders, he saw they were all emitting a faint light that completely lit up the entire stone wall. Did that light have some kind of purpose? Many thanks elder for your concern. Disciple will go now. That person confidently smiled and turned to glance back at everyone. Sneering. This junior is attached to Lai Kai and Shang. With how grand and powerful boss Lai. As boss Lai's subordinate. I pledge my absolutely loyalty to what will be the most powerful faction. With honor right before me. Junior won't be courteous and take the first spot. But this glory isn't mine. But my most respected boss Lai Kai and Shang's. That person arrogantly laughed and ran over to the mountain cliff. Long Chen was a bit dumbstruck. This kind of advertising was a bit much, wasn't it? As for Lai Kai and Shang, he nodded appreciatively. With such an intelligent disciple beneath, what couldn't he accomplish? I wonder what level he'll choose. Looking at how boasting he was, he'll probably choose the inner disciple level. Probably. Otherwise, wouldn't all his boasting have just been crap? That really would be just giving himself a slap in the face. Just as people were guessing he would choose an inner disciple level cave, he had already run over to the cliff. The large set of stairs was there. When he arrived at those stairs, one of the elders asked, Which cave do you want to go to? The one at the most right side on the lowest level. That person immediately replied without even thinking about it. Displeasure rang out amongst the crowd. According to the cultivation world standards, the upper left side was most powerful while the lower right side was the weakest. 
By choosing the most right cave on the lowest level, he had chosen the absolute weakest cave. He had acted so grandly like an expert at the beginning, but now he chose the simplest trial. That bastard is too shameless. He actually picked the most advantageous spot and didn't even try to hide it. Everyone knew that this fellow was definitely relying on his smarts. He had made the first move in order to get an advantage. This fellow is so shameless. He really is just like you. Could it be that he is your long-lost brother? Tang Wan Er laughed. Long Chen didn't get angry, shaking his head. I definitely don't have such a fool brother. Looking at his face, I'm thinking he'll soon want to repent and turn over a new leaf ahh. A miserable scream rang out from the cave. That person had only just entered before letting out that miserable scream, bringing with it a rain of blood that shot out of the cave. Long Chen frowned slightly. He took a step forward, blocking Tang Wan Er's line of sight to that cave. The entire crowd let out startled exclamations. There were also some people who directly vomited. That person was now torn in two and completely mutilated. That scene was absolutely terrifying. Previously he had been so lively and arrogant. Now in the blink of an eye, he was a dead man. Furthermore, he had been killed with such a cruel and disgusting manner, horrifying everyone. Long Chen, let me see. I'll have to face this kind of reality sooner or later. So it might as well be sooner. Tang Wan Er felt some warmth, knowing that Long Chen was looking after her by blocking her line of sight. Long Chen nodded, as she was absolutely correct. How could you possibly not run into dead people on the path of cultivation? If she couldn't even get past this, then she might as well give up cultivation. But letting a fairy-like woman face such a cruel scene really was somewhat unacceptable. However, in the end, Long Chen still moved away. Seeing that completely mutilated figure, Tang Wan Er shook, her face becoming white as paper. She felt her stomach heaving. Just at that moment, a hand silently braced her shoulder and a gentle spiritual key was sent into her body. That noxious feeling was immediately suppressed. Long Chen had already been anticipating her reaction, and so that was why he had been prepared to help her. It wasn't the act of vomiting that would affect her, but if she really did vomit at this sight, it would affect her confidence. Thank you. I'm fine now. Tang Wan Er gratefully looked at Long Chen. If it weren't for his assistance, she really would have lost control and vomited. Everyone's expressions were all pained. Even people like Lai Kian Chang were slightly pale. It wasn't that none of them had seen death, but they had never seen such cruel death. Seeing that everyone had already seen their fill of it, Long Chen extended a hand and shot out a ball of flame that landed on the corpse. That high temperature immediately burnt the corpse into ashes, causing everyone to let out a breath of relief. The pressure really was too great when seeing that corpse. Tu Fang glanced at Long Chen and nodded in praise. Long Chen was definitely the smart one. He knew how to balance the terror and pressure people were feeling. And that is why humans are stupid. They don't even know how stupid they are. Not knowing what respect is. Tu Fang icily looked at everyone. Gloomily saying. Did you carefully listen to what I said before? Did you think I was just joking? As he spoke. Tu Fang's expression became incredibly gloomy. Light shot from his eyes and a terrifying pressure shot out. He was truly infuriated. Are you all idiots? Didn't I just tell you? This isn't an ordinary trial, but a life and death battle that will cause you to lose your life at the slightest carelessness. If you know it relates to your life and death, why are you so careless? Before entering the cave, why wouldn't you release your aura and take out your weapons? Why weren't you completely focused and on guard? You didn't even know what your enemy was, but you still walked in so brazenly? Was that to show off? To make you look brave? Haha, <laughs> not bad. Definitely not bad. This interpretation of how to be a fool really is excellent. You're definitely a group of geniuses. Tu Fang icily looked over them. His expression become more and more ugly. Originally he had thought with this many geniuses, the monastery would finally begin to soar. But a genius might be a genius. But their heads were too stupid. If it weren't for the monastery's rules, he really would have desired to slap a few to death as a wake-up call. He had repeatedly urged them to be careful even telling them how terrifying corrupt cultivators were. Unfortunately some fellows had taken his words to be nonsense. He really had wasted his time. He really did need to give them a proper wake-up call. This trial was no game. If a monster class genius ended up being negligent and dying here, he really would be angered to death. HMPH, don't think yourselves to be so smart. The trial this year isn't the same as before. Don't think that just because you got some information about the previous years that you are completely prepared. In the past few years, 
the great wars between the righteous and corrupted paths have taken the lives of countless geniuses. The puppets within those caves were once living people just like you. That's right. The corrupt cultivators in the caves aren't actually alive. They are all corpses that have been carefully selected to fight with people of your cultivation base. Their soul have been sealed, leaving behind only an instinctual fighting consciousness. So within them is only a desire to brutally massacre others. If you guys want to die, find somewhere alone to resolve that. Don't die here and ruin the mood. Tu Fang scolded them, irritated that they had not met his expectations. Tu Fang hadn't had the heart to see that previous person die tragically and had even given him an extra warning. Unfortunately, that kind of person would never listen no matter how many times he was warned. So now his cruel death had become an example for them. Everyone was woken up, so at least his death had served some purpose. Okay, I've already explained everything. You guys can make your own decisions. Again, if you want to back out now, you still can. The entire crowd was silent. That person had been a peak blood condensation expert, but in his carelessness, he had been immediately killed. That was absolutely terrifying. That was especially true to these geniuses who had never seen such a scene before. It was already not bad for them to not be crying for their mothers at this point. Everyone was now looking at each other hesitantly, not wanting to stand out. They all wanted to wait a while and see. Boss, I'm going to go test it. Suddenly Guo Ran walked out. Both Long Chen and Tang Wan Er were given a fright. Both of them were experts and could clearly sense Guo Ran's strength wasn't outstanding. At best he was only average amongst the crowd. You have to think this through. Long Chen solemnly warned. This was no joke. Guo Ran was extremely solemn. I know. This is the greatest obstacle in my life. No one can help me but myself. Whether I am a dragon or just a serpent will be seen with just this one move. I'll bet on myself. Guo Ran was no longer his smiling self. Instead he was completely determined. This was a hurdle in his life that he couldn't avoid. He had to face it head on. Seeing how worried Long Chen was, Guo Ran smiled slightly. Don't worry boss. I, Guo Ran, won't die so easily. I'm still thinking of muddling my way with you. Good brother. I'm cheering for you. Long Chen clapped Guo Ran on the shoulders. The current Guo Ran was much manlier. He could tell that although Guo Ran might appear slippery on the outside, he had his own pride inside. What he had resolved to do, no one else could change. In front of everyone's astonished gazes, Guo Ran walked up to the stage. Second one on the lower right. Chapter 163 Guo Ran's Perseverance Translator Born to be Guo Ran had made his decision. The cave he had selected was also one for an outer disciple. Standing in front of the cave, Guo Ran first took out a bright set of armor as well as a saber from his spatial ring. They were actually part of a full set. After putting on the Amor, Guo Ran was armed to his teeth. After all these preparations, he walked in without any hesitation. Loud explosions immediately began to ring out. This is cheating. One of Lai Qianchang's people angrily pointed at him. Idiot. Didn't the elder already make that rule clear? As long as you kill the corrupt cultivator inside and take out its head, you'll pass. Are your ears just for decoration? Or are you blind? When did the elder ever say you couldn't use armor or weapons? If you're an idiot, don't use your idiot intelligence to critique others. Being critiqued by a fool like you is definitely a disgrace. Long Chen rudely snorted. He also hadn't kept his voice quiet, so everyone present heard it loud and clear. Tang Wan'er looked at him with admiration. His reasoning was absolutely perfect. At the same time, everyone cast a grateful glance at him. Long Chen was giving them a reminder, making the rules clear. Unless you wanted to die, don't just foolishly walk into the cave without any preparations. Elder Tu Fang sighed in relief. He looked at Long Chen complicatedly. If only these spoiled disciples had even half of Long Chen's intelligence. Furthermore, he realized that the monastery's growth had been held back. They shouldn't have only looked at talent, but also perseverance and willpower. The person in the monastery who had the greatest understanding of Long Chen would have to be Tu Fang. Originally, even if a spirit stone mine had appeared in such a small place like the Phoenix Cry Empire, it was such a minor matter that he wouldn't have bothered to go personally. But after repeatedly finding that every elder he went to was in seclusion, he had finally just personally gone over. His goal had originally just been to handle the matter of the spirit stone mine, but that spirit stone mine was small and didn't have much ore inside. However, it was still within the range of the monastery. Since getting something was better than nothing, he had gone over to get a portion of the spoils. There he had randomly heard people talking about what had happened in Phoenix Cry. 
Someone who was a youth had grown to an absolutely shocking level in less than a year. Then he had run into Long Chen. But when he saw that Long Chen had no spirit root, he couldn't help becoming a bit sad. Without a spirit root, no matter how crazily he advanced, there would definitely be a limit. But then when he had returned, Ling Yanzi had given him a reminder. He had gone out to investigate Long Chen's path. He learned all about Long Chen's bitter childhood and how he had been bullied all the time. That had tempered him, allowing him to forge an indomitable will as well as given him an intelligence that far surpassed his peers. Now when he compared these thousands of geniuses to Long Chen, they were so immature it was laughable. That caused Tu Fang to sigh regretfully. Did that mean the monastery's raising of disciples was lacking something? Long Chen was like some tenacious weed. Fire might burn his outside, but when the spring came again, he would grow back out. He just didn't know how far Long Chen would be able to walk relying on only determination. Would he be able to surpass these saplings which had been grown inside a greenhouse? Although currently those saplings were still extremely weak, once they were transplanted into the monastery, they would all grow to become enormous trees if they could just survive. But would a tenacious weed be able to do the same? Boom. Repeated explosions came from within the cave as Tu Fang was thinking. People's hearts were about to rise into their throats. No one knew whether or not it would be a corpse covered in blood that would fly out again. Although Long Chen's expression seemed calm on the outside, he was clenching his fists tightly. He knew worrying didn't have any use, but he couldn't help it. After the time it took for an incense stick to burn, the explosions gradually faded. A figure slowly walked out of the cave. Guo Ran was completely covered in blood and his helmet was gone. Only half of his saber still remained. His armor was damaged all over. Who knew just how many wounds were over his body? Blood had completely dyed him red. It could be seen how bitter that fight had been. Within his left hand was a head. That was the head of a middle-aged man. Its expression was sinister, and some terrifying lines covered its face that made it look like an evil spirit. He, boss, I succeeded. Guo Ran excitedly raised the head as he shouted out. Long Chen smiled and let out a breath of air. He gave Guo Ran a big thumbs up. This fellow was a real man. With his strength, he had less than a 50% chance of passing the outer disciple trial. He had had a 50% chance of death just now. To fight as he had not only required courage, but also a firm Dao heart. As soon as Guo Ran said that, he immediately fell from the entrance of the cave. In that intense fight, he had only sustained himself with his powerful perseverance. Now that he relaxed, he immediately fainted. Everyone let out startled cries. Even the lowest cave was still a hundred meters from the ground, and the ground was completely made of hard rocks. He would end up smashing himself to death. Long Chen had just been about to run over when an elder waved his hand. Guo Ran's body immediately began to float and drift over to Long Chen. Long Chen hastily grabbed him and expressed his thanks to that elder. That elder lightly nodded his head. Examining Guo Ran's body, he saw that where his armor was broken, it had been cleaved by some unknown weapon. Those cuts were extremely flat. Whatever had downed it had obviously been incredibly sharp. He fed Guo Ran a medicinal pill as well as took out a queen bee crystal, dissolving it into water and giving it to him. Qi Xin's expression began ashen when he saw Long Chen take out that queen bee crystal. That should have been his, but it was snatched away by Long Chen. Under these two medicinal energies, Guo Ran slowly awoke. Looking at Long Chen excitedly, he exclaimed, Boss, I succeeded, I succeeded. Long Chen laughed, I know you're excited, but when did your tastes get so strange? With the way you're holding that head, are you planning on using it as a pillow? Guo Ran then realized he was clenching the head tightly and proudly said, Boss, you have no idea. This plaything was so vicious. One of its arms was made of just bone. It had no hand and had sharpened that bone to an incredibly sharp point. All these wounds were from its bones. He was actually still filled with some fear. As he spoke of the battle, everyone was completely horrified. What kind of thing used its own bones as weapons? Young fellow, congratulations on passing. Use that head to exchange for an outer disciple badge. In the future you will be a formal disciple of the Zhuanshan Monastery. A group of people walked over and set up a table. That would be the place to exchange for the badge. And a senior from there called out to Guo Ran. He hastily went over and handed over the head. The senior also collected the Shi and Dizu and Wang tablet he had collected as well as his registration card. Handing him a palm-sized badge in return. That badge was made of a heavy bronze that emitted a cold, pressuring air. It could only be made with a special kind of metal. The badge had the four ancient characters on it as well. Shi and Dizu and Wang. On the back was Guo Ran's name. He, boss, 
Now we're definitely people with prestige. Even if we have to return home in the future, we'll definitely have something to brag about. Guo Ran lovingly fondled his badge. He was touching it as if he would a lover. The creepy sight causing other people to get goosebumps. Okay, don't waste any more time. Go to the rear and heal your wounds. And try not to lose that badge. Laughed Long Chen. Don't worry, I'd never lose this badge. He ran to the rear and sat down. Focusing on recovery. After such a huge fight, even with the assistance of spirit medicines, he would still need to focus on recovering and deliberately activating the medicinal energy. Being the first to obtain a medal, many people looked up enviously to him. At the same time, his success also filled them with more confidence. There were immediately several people who went to challenge the trial. They all chose outer disciple trials. Over ten people entered. Three of them died. There were also two of them that reacted quickly and managed to flee out in time. People saw a crazy figure inside the cave charge out howling. Want to kill them each time. But those two figures that charged out had only just come out of the cave when they were lit up by the stone pillar's light. Both of them immediately let out a sharp shriek. Their bodies turned to green smoke, becoming desiccated skeletons in the blink of an eye. That strange sight caused people's hair to stand on end. As for those two people who had managed to escape death, even their legs turned to jelly. By the time they could walk away, they had their registration card and tablet taken away. Although they had managed to keep their lives, they had lost the right to attempt the trial again. Other than the three deaths and two failures, the others had passed, causing many people to feel some hope. But some people also decided to give up when they saw how high the chance of death was. They all started to sell their complete set of tiles. The monastery actually didn't care about that. As long as you managed to obtain a full set, you could attempt the trial. Many people began to use medicinal pills and weapons to exchange for them. If it was people they knew, they even directly set up an IOU. In any case, later they could exchange it for anything. At this time, Lai Kianchang and the monster's people also started to move. Tang Wan'er tugged on Long Chen's robes. Should we also start now? Tang Wan'er was slightly nervous. She didn't know why. But at this juncture that involved life and death, the first thing she thought to do was to ask Long Chen's opinion. For some unknown reason, she felt that although Long Chen was a glib, smooth-talking rascal, he was definitely an extremely reliable person. Since this is an unavoidable trial, you should use your charm to give everyone a boost of morale and give everyone some confidence. Smiled Long Chen. Tang Wan red reddened, fidgeting. She awkwardly asked, I don't know how. Can you help me do that? That's no good. You're the one who decided to be in charge. And everyone only came rushing into your faction because of your great beauty. A minor player like me can't upstage the main character. Long Chen shook his head. Scoundrel, this is an order. You must do it. Tang Wan'er was ashamed into anger. And actually pushed Long Chen forward. Long Chen laughed mischievously. Wasn't it just a simple trick? When had he ever been afraid of such a thing? Chapter 164 Boosting Morale Translator Born to be brothers and sisters. Everyone look here. Long Chen waved his hand. Getting Tang Wan'er's faction's attention. Looking at how confident and at ease his movements were as well as that calm smile. Tang Wan'er couldn't help lamenting. How come Long Chen always seemed to do things so easily? Everyone has already seen just how powerful those monsters in the caves are. So in order to encourage everyone. Our goddess Wan'er has promised everyone that whoever manages to pass will get a reward of a kiss. Aya. He had only just gotten that out when a sharp pain came from his leg. Tang Wan'er had kicked him. She narraged. What random nonsense are you spewing? When did I ever say that? Long Chen acted puzzled. Apologizing. Oh. I heard wrong. My bad. My bad. Turning back to everyone. He continued. I was wrong just now. The winners won't get one kiss from Sister Wan'er. But two kisses. Aya. How come you're kicking me again? Scoundrel. When did I ever say that? What are you randomly spouting? Tang Wan'er had turned red from rage. He really dared to make any kind of joke. Okay. Sorry everyone. Sister Wan'er is a bit too stingy. Then forget about it. But there will definitely be rewards. Then how about I change the reward? Any beautiful women who passes can get a kiss from me. Long Chen. Loudly shouted Long Chen. Those people all burst into laughter. That tense atmosphere was immediately lightened greatly by him. Only now did Tang Wan'er realize Long Chen's intentions. She knew that although Long Chen was strange, he was an extremely prideful person inside. Otherwise there was no way he would have refused to lower his head and ended up fighting with monsters like Qishin and Lai Kian Shang. 
for him to drag himself down to make everyone laugh was definitely a large kind of sacrifice on his part. Haha, <laughs> you guys are laughing. Fine, I'll just take that are your ascent. Trust me, I, Long Chen, have never eaten my words. Long Chen said to those maidens in their faction. Those maidens immediately turned shy. Although they knew he was joking, they still blushed. Okay, let's get serious. Since everyone has gathered together, that means we all have the same goals and dreams. We all want to become experts. We all want to bring honor to our ancestors. We want to surpass our ancestors, letting our descendants forever remember our names. Long Chen's was filled with passion. His voice slowly ignited the fire in the others. Tu Fang watched as everyone was pumped up by Long Chen and admiration appeared in his eyes. Long Chen had definitely completely comprehended the hearts of these disciples from powerful families. He knew that pride filled them, as well as a bit of self-disdain. That was because all their accomplishments up till this point had not really been theirs, but the achievements their ancestors had left for them. And that was why Long Chen had said that they would surpass their ancestors, letting their descendants forever remember their names. That immediately struck a chord in the core of their hearts, lighting up a powerful desire for battle, causing them to completely forget their fear. First he joked, loosening the tense atmosphere, and then he ignited their passion, causing them to be filled with a desire for battle. That was definitely an extremely well-executed plan. But then as everyone's passions were soaring, his voice once more became heavy. Do you guys know? In our hearts, Sister Wanner is a goddess, an idol to be worshipped. She is a kind-hearted beauty. Someone from the heavens who has descended down upon us. She is an unparalleled beauty, a fairy too high to reach. But do you all know? To herself, she is no goddess, but an ordinary maiden. She also knows how to be aggrieved, sad, and helpless. You guys don't know that behind her strong exterior is a concealed gentle heart. When Long Chen reached this point, Tang Wan Er sniffled. She was almost unable to stop her tears and she quickly turned away. She was definitely a proud genius but she also had a weak side. Having to stay in the spotlight and be a powerful pillar of support was actually extremely tiring for her, but she had no way around it and had always endured. That scoundrel truly was a cheat. Tang Wan Er turned away, covering up her face as tears welled out of her eyes, but this movement was still seen by everyone. Their hearts ached for her. They had never thought their goddess had this weaker side. She also needed them to protect her. In her heart, you are not underlings, but her family. Each one of you is one of her brothers, one of her sisters. So if any one of you end up dying, she will be extremely sad and will even cry. If you don't want our goddess to be hurt and cry, can you promise her that you will return alive from the trial? Long Chen's final words were intentionally said extremely solemnly. His voice was like thunder. Not only did it ring out in their ears, but it even sunk into their hearts and shook their spirits. We promise we will return alive. Everyone shouted out their response. They had already forgotten about their own lives. But now in order to make sure their goddess would live happily, they cherished their own lives even more. Tu Fang and the other elders all looked at each other and smiled. This Long Chen truly was praiseworthy. Even these old fellows were also a bit moved. This little fellow's mouth could practically even raise the dead. He was actually able to arouse these spoiled and undisciplined princes and princesses. That was practically a heaven-defying ability. HMPH. What is a promise supposed to do? Is a promise more important than strength? That voice was filled with ridicule. Everyone turned to angrily glare. That voice had come from Lai Kian Chang who was disdainfully looking at them. Hey, don't listen to him. If you end up distracted just because a dog yelps, how will you become powerful in the future? Lightly said Long Chen, pulling back everyone's attention. Long Chen, don't make me kill you. Lai Kian Chang angrily pointed at Long Chen. Long Chen didn't even look at him or respond, treating him as nothing more than air. He definitely didn't want the atmosphere he had worked so hard to build be destroyed by him. He said to everyone, there's one thing I want to tell you guys, walk your own paths. Just let dogs bark all they want. Look, right now there is a dog staring at us. Now the pressure is even greater. If you die, not only will that sadden our goddess, you'll also end up ridiculed by a dog. As for what you guys need to do, I don't need to explain that any further. Go. Everyone clenched their teeth and viciously cut at Lai Kian Chang with their eyes, turning their fury into a raging fighting spirit. Sister Wan Er, don't worry, we'll definitely return. Sister Wan Er, we won't let you feel any grief. Sister Wan Er, don't be hurt. We'll let that gorilla shut his fat mouth. Almost each person would say a few words of comfort as they passed by Tang Wan Er, 
Without turning back, they all walked up to the mountain cliff. It was almost possible to feel their powerful determination. Tang Wan'er covered her mouth, not knowing what to do. This was the first time she realized how deeply these people cared about her. Her heart was filled with warmth and tears slowly flowed down her face. Having this many people immediately come up, those elders all became busy, sending people one by one to their caves. Explosions rang out continuously for a while. Long Chen, was that the truth? Am I really like you said I am? Tang Wan'er quietly asked when she saw that there was no one else around them. Long Chen laughed. I never say anything truthful, so you don't need to take it so seriously. You, you scoundrel. You really don't know how to have a conversation. Tang Wan'er gave Long Chen a kick in her anger, but this time Long Chen dodged, and having nowhere to let out her emotions, she turned and lightly began to sob. Hey, what are you doing? The place over. There's no one watching. So what are you crying for? Said Long Chen. Aren't you someone? Tang Wan'er raged, both ashamed and angry. Long Chen stared at Tang Wan'er, not saying anything. In the end he just sighed. What are you sighing about? Tang Wan'er had never experienced anything like what had happened. You are not suited to cultivation, lightly said Long Chen. Why not? Tang Wan'er stiffened in surprise. You have too many feelings. Have you ever thought about how you would feel if these people all died in there? Asked Long Chen. TCH. Don't jinx people. Long Chen was still completely serious. Answer me. Tang Wan'er paused. Her mouth opened, but nothing came out. Let me tell you then. You will be heartbroken and inconsolable. If you take the core disciple trial in that kind of state, the odds of you dying inside will surpass 90%, solemnly said Long Chen. Tang Wan'er lowered her head pitifully. This was simply the cruelty of reality. It was simply a fact. Cultivation is a path of no retreat. Don't think that you can bring a group of people running down that path. If you try, you'll slowly realize that everyone who follows you will one by one disappear, leaving behind only you then you will have lost your way. Tang Wan'er bit her lip, asking, then what should I do? Let everything come naturally. You can't care so much, or you will only end up bringing more pain for yourself, said Long Chen. You want me to dissolve my faction, fool. Why would you dissolve your faction? You built this faction so that everyone could fight for more resources, letting them have even greater space to grow and develop. You can also even increase your own strength that way. That's a case of everyone winning. I'm just telling you a cruel fact about what will happen in the future. Once you've been inured, it won't hurt so much, smiled Long Chen. Long Chen, for you to understand this much, does that mean you've already experienced that kind of pain? Tang Wan'er looked deeply into Long Chen's eyes. Sorrow flashed in his eyes, but he quickly covered it up. Ah, what pain have I ever suffered? Right now I'm just a happy scoundrel. In the future I'll be a new and improved scoundrel, one without equal under the heavens one with unlimited prospects. I don't even have enough time for how happy I am. Tang Wan'er's heart trembled. Just now she had seen a trace of what was within Long Chen's heart. Although it had only been for just a second, she could tell the true feelings he had felt in that moment. This man laughed all day, but just what was concealed within his heart? Just how had he ended up with an intelligence that far surpassed any of his peers? Tang Wan'er was about to keep asking this riddle-like man when a particularly loud explosion rang out. Chapter 165 Shocking Pass Rate Translator Born to be an explosion rang out from one of the caves of the stone wall, drawing everyone's attention. A figure slowly walked out. It was actually an inner disciple trial. People let out a startled cry. That cave had been in the middle layer of the cliff and the cave opening was slightly larger. It's Ling Hao. Tang Wan'er excitedly pulled on Long Chen's hand. She smiled brightly with an unconcealable delight. He, yes, congratulations. Congratulations, Long Chen gently rubbed her soft, jade hand, wasting such an opportunity definitely wasn't his style, especially not when it had just been given to him straight on, scoundrel, you, only after a moment did Tang Wan'a realize what he was doing to her hand, she had actually been taken advantage of like this, as if she was given an electric shock, she quickly took back her hand, ashamed and angry, Aya, just how did she manage to grow such a hand, it's somehow slender, soft, and warm, Long Chen praised inside, just as Long Chen was reveling in that feeling and Tang Wan'er was about to beat him, Ling Hao shouted out, Sister Wan'er, I, Ling Hao, have fulfilled my promise, I have returned alive, good, quickly come rest, Tang Wan'er nodded, Ling Hao was covered in blood, and his shoulder had been pierced by something, revealing the bone beneath, 
Thank you. Take care, sister. Ling Hao nodded and brought the head to exchange for an inner disciple's badge. Then going over to Guo Ran to recuperate. Excellent. Ling Hao is a good one. Long Chen nodded and exclaimed in admiration. Tang Wan Er sighed. Ling Hao's talent actually isn't that great. For him to obtain an inner disciple badge really is shocking. Talent isn't everything. Temperament, determination, luck, and intelligence are all extremely important. Important enough to change a person's life, said Long Chen. Inside he thought to himself, I don't even have any talent. I don't even have a spirit root. But can't I also stand here just as well? As the two of them talked, another blood-soaked fellow also walked out, excitedly running over in spite of his current condition and raising his head. Sister Wanur, I've succeeded. Following this, more and more people began to run out, all with heads in their hands. The passion burning within their eyes moved Tang Wanur deeply. Their success was actually in order to accomplish their promise to her. She stealthily glanced at Long Chen and saw his expression was still indifferent as if he had long since expected this outcome. His eyes were constantly roving around the highest level of caves. In less than two hours, Tang Wanur's entire faction finished their trials. There were a total of three inner disciples and 76 outer disciples. Of her 100 people, there had been a portion that had died in the trial region, while eight people had failed to keep their promise and died in the caves. But even so, this result was absolutely shocking. It far surpassed the ordinary success rate. Even the elders were startled. This success rate had already surpassed any other faction. It was close to a 90% success rate. Even the elders were moved by that. Tu Fang descended into thought. Sister Wanur, don't feel sad. Those brothers who didn't return have already used their passion to show you their youthful passion. Although they died, they were like exploding fireworks. Although their duration was short, it was much better than living their lives as a mediocre person. King Yu lightly pulled on Tang Wanur's hand. Of the three inner disciples, King Yu was the only female. It went without saying that her combat strength was extremely great. When she fought she was extremely stable almost never making any mistakes. The other factions also stopped just testing when they saw Tang Wan'er's faction's high success rate. They also began to take the trials in large numbers. As for Ye's Hikyu's side, there was also someone who learned from Long Chen and did his best to increase her faction's morale, telling them not to let their goddess be brokenhearted. But obviously the ice beauty was not suited to such a thing. That expressionless face caused that person trying to boost the morale to become extremely awkward. As for Long Chen, he was speechless as he watched that. Yes Hikyu, can't you at least give people a little bit of expression? And even if you can't, at least cover your face with your hand or something, sighed Long Chen. But in any case, a beautiful goddess was definitely extremely useful. After that person's speech, each person's aura had increased by quite a bit. At least they weren't as afraid as they had been. Long Chen, you should also take the inner disciple trial. Tang Wan'er had already returned to normal now. Long Chen paused. He understood she was just looking out for him. Just from the outer and inner disciple trials, she could see how cruel this final test was. She didn't want Long Chen to be in danger. Before she had come here, her family had repeatedly warned her that the core disciple trial was the highest level trial and was extremely difficult, far surpassing anyone's imaginations. So they wanted her to fight with her full strength without leaving anything in reserve at that time. Even a true core disciple would die in that trial if they were the slightest bit inattentive. Although she knew Long Chen was powerful, the chances of him dying in the core disciple trial were too high. I'm someone a bit too afraid of death. I think I'll take the outer disciple trial. Long Chen worriedly shook his head. Scoundrel, I'm talking about serious matters. Tang Wan'er indignantly cried out. Well, we'll see. Long Chen looked at the mountain cliff. He knew the core disciple trial was definitely extremely difficult, but he was not afraid. That wasn't arrogance, but confidence. That was the confidence that had been formed by steeling himself against life and death battles. It was a kind of unstoppable determination. If others could pass it, then he definitely also could. His original reason for coming to the Zhuanshan Monastery had only been collect the ingredients for the Aleph pill. But after arriving here, his thinking had changed. The monastery's resources definitely surpassed his imaginations. Within the trial region he had already found so many good things. He was no longer as indifferent and calm as before. He had an urge to collect all the countless treasures within the monastery for his own. With the core disciple status, he would be able to obtain more resources and it would be much easier for him. 
But on the other hand, if he were to show off too much and become the center of attention, there was a greater chance that he might end up exposing the nine-star hegemon body art. That kind of secret would definitely lead to disaster if it was leaked. Although he was confident, he definitely wouldn't arrogantly think he was undefeatable. These old elders could kill him as easily as killing an ant. Although they were all elders of the monastery and seem virtuous, treasures could entice anyone. If they ended up targeting him, that would be extremely troublesome. Without bringing out his full strength, it would be impossible to pass the core disciple trial. So this was an extremely difficult decision for him. That was why Long Chen still wanted to see others undergo the core disciple trial before he made his own decision. Another two hours had passed, and more and more disciples passed the trials. But there were also more and more disciples who were killed. Blood stained the cliffside red. Long Chen knew that that was intentional by the monastery. It was part of the goal of this trial. At the beginning of this whole disciple test they had killed a couple impersonators in order to awe everyone. That was to let these geniuses realize the monastery was not their home. No one would spoil them like their families had. In the trial region, they had set up a couple second rank magical beasts so that people would realize this was not a game. Mistakes could lead to deaths. As they entered deeper into the trial region, the chances of death only grew. Telling people danger and opportunity were existences that came together. If you want to obtain more, you would have to face greater danger. As they walked deeper and deeper, once they reached the final trial, they saw these gruesome and cruel deaths. That was so people would challenge the terror within their hearts. Following these layers of filters, the final people that had managed to survive through it all had matured greatly whether it was in terms of power, temperament, or intelligence. Only such people were worthy of being groomed with the monastery's resources. But it seemed the disciples this time were a mix of people. At the beginning of the final trial, there had even been an idiot who had volunteered to go first, resulting in him being the first death of the trial and teaching everyone a lesson. That idiocy had caused Tu Fang to curse that person. After all these twists and turns, the disciples that had managed to survive to the end and obtain their badge had already experienced being on the cusp of life and death. Whether it was temperament or determination, they all had sharply risen. They were no longer greenhouse flowers, but saplings that had begun to face the real world's wind and frost. Long Chen had no choice but to admit that the Zhuanshan Monastery's disciple selection truly was extremely perfect. But such harsh methods definitely didn't suit every sect everyone clearly knew how harsh the Zhuanshan Monastery's disciple selection was. And yet so many powers and families sent their geniuses to face that danger. It was obvious how powerful the Zhuanshan Monastery was. As more and more people charged into the trial, the trial gradually began to near its end. That was because there were only so many complete tile sets. There was a limit on how many people could take the trial. Other than the five large factions, there were also quite a few others who had passed the trial. Of those people, there were several who only managed to obtain the full set by buying it just now. No one would laugh at such a person. In fact, they were filled with respect. If they hadn't had the strength to gather the tiles, then that meant they weren't very strong. But to dare take this trial without strength, to disregard the danger of death, that definitely required a heroic courage. After seeing so many cruel endings, there was already no one who would recklessly charge in. These people all made this decision calmly. That meant they truly had the heart of an expert and were not just blind fools. Noveloon.com That was also why the monastery would not do anything to those selling and buying the tiles. This world didn't have anything that was fair. If you wanted fairness, then go fight for that fairness. If you risked your life to struggle, the monastery would naturally leave a slim chance for you. The trial progressed quickly. That was because this was no performance or act, but a true battle to the death. Life and death were decided in just a moment. In just a short six hours, other than the monster class experts, almost everyone else had finished. It had been extremely tragic. Over half of Lai Kianchang and Qi Xin's people had died. But what was surprising was that there were 17 of their people who had obtained an inner disciple medal. Long Chen sucked in a cold gasp. Those two truly were ruthless. They had used their own people's lives as gambling chips. Their high death rate had definitely had to do with the level of difficulty they had chosen. To them, the outer disciples were meaningless. In the future they would easily be able to gather more people. They only wanted powerful people. Only then could they have a superiority during the struggles in the monastery. As for Yu Zifeng and Ye's Hikyu's factions, their passing rate was actually not bad. They had around a 70% pass rate, but they also had less inner disciples. They had 7 and 8 inner disciples respectively. 
the rest were all naturally outer disciples. Tang Wan'er's side might have had the highest passing rate, but her whole force's strength was also the lowest since she only had three inner disciples I'm going to go. Tang Wan'er's beautiful gaze fell upon the mountain cliff. She had already walked out. Chapter 166 Core Disciple Trial Translator Born to be Tang Wan'er's actions immediately drew everyone's attention. Even those excited disciples that had passed also calmed down to watch. The core disciple trials were about to begin. Everyone stopped to watch Tang Wan'er, an unmatched goddess whose magnificence outshines her peers. Goddess Wan'er will easily pass. Tang Wan'er had only just arrived in front of the stone wall when a thunderous roar came from behind her. She turned to see that at some point, a flag had appeared in Long Chen's hands. He was waving it around, leading everyone to cheer his slogan. Looking at his smile, Tang Wan'er relaxed greatly. That smile easily warmed her heart comfortably. Although this fellow liked to do wacky things, Tang Wan'er knew that in this case he was helping her relieve some of the pressure. Waving to them, she walked it up the steps, respectfully arriving at Elder Tu Fang. Sorry to trouble Elder. Core Disciple Trial. Middle row. Third on the right. Tu Fang nodded. He amicably smiled. Use your full strength without holding anything back. If there are problems, you can always retreat. To a monster class genius, even Tu Fang would be much more prudent. If such a disciple died here, that would be a huge blow to the monastery. Many thanks for your concern elder. Wan'er understands. She nodded. Tu Fang waved his hand, and Tang Wan'er directly floated up the 3,000 meter stone wall, arriving at a certain cave. Taking a slight breath, wind blades suddenly exploded out around her body. That terrifying wind energy whistled through the air sharply. Everyone held their breath. A monster class expert had exploded out with her full force. Would she manage to pass? Long Chen was also slightly nervous inside. Tang Wan'er was incredibly powerful. The most talented of everyone here with what he sensed to be a gold grade spirit root. But her heart was perhaps the most lacking amongst them all. She had too many emotions and so was too unstable. And that why Long Chen could only do his best to relax her in hopes she would be able to use more of her strength. After summoning her wind blades. Two large long swords appeared in her hands as well. Runes appeared whose aura shook the air as she slowly walked into the cave. Boom. As soon as she entered, people heard an immense explosion. The cave shook and key waves spat out of the opening. Boom. 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 The explosions continued and the entire mountain was constantly shaking now. Everyone was tightly clenching fists nervously. No one wished to see a fairy meet a miserable end. After the time it took for an incense stick to burn, Long Chen relaxed. At the same time, Tu Fang and the other elders also let out a breath of air, the tension on their face disappearing. Seeing everyone behind him was still nervous. He smiled. Don't worry everyone. Sister Wan'er definitely can pass. He knew that to Tang Wan'er, it was the start of the battle that was the most dangerous. If she managed to survive that, she would have conquered the fear in her heart, allowing her to display even more terrifying power. That was why Long Chen had relaxed. If she was still fine after this much time, then that meant passing the trial was now only a matter of time for her. Although she was also a woman, Tang Wan'er's nature was completely different from Men Qi and Chu Yao. They were gentle on the outside but hard on the inside. As for Tang Wan'er, she displayed a hard exterior of power, concealing her fragile heart. After Long Chen pointed that out, she had also realized her problem. At the beginning she had said it would have been better to see other people go test out the core disciple trial first, if others succeeded. She would also feel more assured of her own success. But now she had chosen to be the first to take the core disciple trial. That was to overcome the obstacles in her heart. She would use this battle to completely mature herself. Of the people present, only Long Chen knew Tang Wan'er's intentions. She wanted to defeat Ring her own weakness to become a true expert. Since Tang Wan'er had still managed to stay alive after this much time, other people also relaxed slightly. As for the other monster class experts, since they saw she was able to endure, that meant they were able to as well. That was the benefit of going after. The four of them all walked up. As he passed by Long Chen, Lai Kai and Chang Isili said, Brat, you wouldn't have any thoughts of selecting the inner disciple trial right? If you were thinking of that, I think it'd be easier if you just smashed your head in against the cliff. Long Chen glanced at him. What does my choice have to do with you? It's not your concern. Furthermore, you ended up growing into a giant gorilla. If you don't die, then why should I? Lai Kai and Chang was about to retort when Qishan interrupted. Don't bother with people like him. It's beneath our dignity. 
Only then did Li Qianchang coldly snort and turned away, walking to the stone wall. As for Ye Hikyu, she nodded to him as she walked back. Closely behind her was Yu Zifeng. The four of them all went up, causing an uproar. Everyone was incredibly excited. All the monster class experts were about to take the trial. Just how many of them would pass? The four of them all selected their own caves and were sent up. In reality, the power of the enemies within the caves in the same levels were completely randomly distributed. It was impossible to tell which cave would have weaker opponents. That would rely on luck. All four of their powerful auras all exploded out when they arrived in front of their caves. Bringing out their strongest techniques, they entered their caves. As expected, as soon as the four entered, explosions immediately rang out. Key waves surged and intense booming rumbled. It was obvious just how fierce the battle was inside. Unfortunately, no one outside could see inside. Long Chen thought about that for a moment and then also walked up to the stone wall, stopping before the stairs. Long Chen, which level are you thinking of choosing? Tu Fang asked Long Chen. Any cave on the top level, indifferently said Long Chen. Since all of the caves of the same level follow the same standards, there was no need for him to make a specific choice. He had settled on choosing the core disciple trial. That was because he saw that the core disciple trials were completely isolated and the fight could not be seen by others. That way there was no chance he would expose himself. Okay, you guys randomly pick one. Tu Fang turned to the elders behind him. One of them smiled and told Long Chen. Excellent. It's been many years since I've seen a fellow as interesting as you. Then I'll just randomly pick one. That person patted the stone pillar before him and a gentle energy brought Long Chen floating before one of the caves on the highest level. Good luck, young man, smiled that elder. At the beginning, Tu Fang hadn't really been caring about it, but he suddenly thought of something and his expression changed slightly. Hesitating for a moment, Tu Fang was just about to say something when his gaze fell on Long Chen. Was this the fate of divergence? How did he randomly end up in that place? Of the people present. Only Tu Fang knew a bit about what was inside that cave he had just arrived in front. It was impossible for anyone to have intentionally sent him there. In other words, that was just Long Chen's lock? Standing in front of the cave, Long Chen could only see the inside of the cave was pitch black. His Feng Fu star spiritual key began to circulate, and his spiritual strength also spread out as he walked into the cave. What? He won't even release his aura. Does he want to die? People couldn't help letting out startled cries. They had all seen Long Chen boost morale and calmly conduct everyone. His mannerisms far from ordinary. No one had thought he was such an idiot. But they didn't know that Long Chen's energy was all condensed within his Feng Fu star. There was no need for his aura to explode out like others. Others would need to do that in order to employ their greatest strength. But Long Chen could draw out energy from his Feng Fu star with just a thought. That was much faster than a danshan. As his spiritual strength spread and he explored the cave. He realized the cave was extremely deep. Despite entering dozens of meters, he still didn't meet an enemy. That was definitely puzzling to him. Other people had immediately been attacked the moment they entered their caves. Then did that mean the enemy in this cave liked to act grandly and was waiting for him to find him? Not daring to be the slightest bit overconfident, he carefully walked forward. All of his nerves were stretched to the limit, ready to react to the slightest thing in the fastest time. By the time he had walked in over a hundred meters, the path before him had become wider. At this time, his vision had adjusted a bit and he could see that he was in a large lounge. This lounge had a diameter of over 300 meters and was also over 30 meters high. It was extremely spacious. GGGG. A strange laughter rang out like the howl of a malicious spirit. It was a sound that would cause people to feel numb and as if knives were being stabbed into their ears. Long Chen was startled and hastily looked forward to see that there was someone at the center of this lounge. That person was wearing robes. His head was lowered and long hair fell down, making it impossible to see his face. That voice had seemed to come from it, but he also wasn't sure. This lounge was so large that there were countless echoes coming from all over. Hey, since you know how to laugh, do you also know how to talk? Long Chen guardedly asked from a distance. He didn't dare walk up to it. If it was just bait to attract his attention, it would be troublesome for the real attacker to launch a sneak attack. He... After a thousand years, I can finally smell the scent of life again. It's so nostalgic that person's voice was incredibly painful to listen to, like scraping iron. He slowly raised his head and Long Chen saw that it was a man in his thirties. His face was pitch black as if it had been burned. His eye sockets were completely empty of anything, and his cheeks had already withered. 
A steel needle had been inserted into the center of his eyebrows. That needle was around the width of a finger and over a foot long, going through his skull. Long Chen's heart shook, as expected. It was just a corpse. That was just a puppet shell without the slightest bit of life. But from inside that corpse came an exceptionally strange energy fluctuation. Spiritual strength. You're a spiritual body. Long Chen let out a startled cry. Wasn't that kind of energy spiritual strength? But that spiritual strength was shockingly powerful. I wouldn't have expected you to know so much. That group of bastards sealed my soul in here, wanting to enslave me and have me become a testing instrument. He, am I, G-U-I Sha, someone so easy to subdue? Little fellow, I'll give you two choices now. You can die, or surrender. Don't even think of escaping, let alone you who is only in the blood condensation realm. Even those elders outside would also die after arriving here, sinisterly said G-U-I Sha. Long Chen's heart quivered. This turn of events was far from reassuring. Raising his long sword, it whistled as it slashed down on that corpse. Chapter 167 Corrupt Path Soul Demon Translator Born to be in response to Long Chen directly slashing at him, that person merely coldly snorted. A withered, black hand directly grabbed onto Long Chen's blade. A metallic ringing filled the air when the two collided. That blade in his hands shook and a powerful force knocked him flying. HMPH, you're far from capable enough to put on such an act in front of me. That person suddenly moved, disappearing like a specter. By the time he once more appeared, he was already blocking the exit. How fast? Long Chen was alarmed. As soon as he had encountered this strange person he had felt that something was wrong. He constantly felt a chilling sensation from him that told him he was a threat to his life. He had been planning on borrowing his counterforce to quickly flee from here. Unfortunately, his ploy had been seen through. Although this corpse is too weak. With my spiritual strength controlling it, it's not something an amateur like you could defa a Turing little fellow. I'll still give you those two options again. Either die or surrender, he icily said. Long Chen's heart pounded loudly. This corpse contained an old monster spirit. What kind of crap was this trial? And what bastard had dug this cave so deep that there wasn't even a chance to flee? If you want me, Long Chen, to surrender, you'll have to show me you have the skill. Long Chen icily snorted. Since he couldn't flee. He could only face it head on. The divine ring appeared in his dantian as his Feng Fu star circulated. Terrifying pressure began to soar. Oh, somewhat interesting. That person was actually a bit intrigued by Long Chen's aura, but there was no surprise in that voice. Clearly everything was completely under his control. Parting wind slash. Long Chen's sword slashed down, but that corpse's claw-like hand directly punched away the sword tip. He was horrified to see that his Earth-class battle skill was so easily blocked. It was unable to even slightly wound that person. Breaking wind fist. Long Chen once more shouted. Light appeared over his fist as he sent a punch smashing into that person. Previously in the fight for the profound spirit fruit. His heavy spear had already been broken. Without a heavy weapon. Most of his battle skills were unable to display their full strength. It was better for him to give up on using a weapon and fight with his fists. Boom. Long Chen's punch landed squarely on that withered corse's arm. That fist could easily destroy a boulder, but it was unable to break that arm. At the same time, his own power rebounded and forced him back several steps, turning his own arm slightly numb. What a hard body. Long Chen was horrified. This corpse was incredibly powerful. If he had been alive, he would definitely have been a terrifying expert. Little kid, are you still unconvinced? HMPH, then I'll let you see just minuscule you are to me. That person snorted and his body suddenly moved. A pair of black hands appeared in front of Long Chen in just an instant. Long Chen hastily punched out to block it. Although he managed to block it, his body was still forced back again. Your physical body is not bad. His withered claws then began to continuously attack Long Chen. His speed like a wild tempest. Bang, bang, bang. Long Chen was unable to even see the movements of his claws. He could only rely on his intuition to block as best as he could. Filled with horror. Just what level of expert was this old ghost? It was clear that only his soul still remained and he was simply possessing this corpse. However, he possessed such mighty strength. Long Chen could clearly sense that this soul was relying on only spiritual strength to control the corpse. But even so, he was completely dominating him. Furthermore, Long Chen had no idea what was going on with that corpse. But no matter how he struck it, he was unable to break it at all. Although he knew that the core disciple trial was difficult, he was sure it was not supposed to have reached this level.
this was essentially impossible to overcome. There was not even the slightest chance of him beating this old monster. Even if he used his full strength, there would not be the slightest hope. Something wrong had definitely occurred somewhere. The only lucky thing about this was that that old monster didn't want to kill him. He wasn't attacking him with his full strength and was even mostly avoiding his vitals. Bang. A kick landed on Long Chen's stomach, sending him flying into the wall behind him. Only then did they stop. He. Kid. You're not bad. I've decided to take you as an apprentice. Hurry up and kowtow to your master. That person walked up to Long Chen. His dead face was right in front of Long Chen, making him appear even more sinister. Do you think someone like you is capable of being my master? Long Chen icily laughed, blood flowing out of the corner of his mouth. After that tempest of attacks, Long Chen's body was covered in brazes. That corpse was too strange. Its hardness was even greater than any of his weapons. Bastard. Who do you think I? Gu I Sha. Am? 3000 years ago I swept across the land, striking fear in the hearts of anyone who heard my name. For me to take a fancy to you is a blessing for you. Rage Gu I Sha. 1. Then you mean you're very amazing? Asked Long Chen. Of course. I'm extremely amazing. Proudly said Gu I Sha. Then how did you end up in this state that is neither human or ghost? Sneered Long Chen. TCH. What do you know? Back then three meridian opening experts surrounded and besieged me. Furthermore, I was already wounded then. Otherwise how would I have ended up like this? Gui Sha clenched his teeth. His voice filled with anger and brutality. A terrifying killing intent immediately filled the entire lounge. That killing intent seemed to almost take solid form. Striking shock and fear even in Long Chen. Who knew just how many people this old ghost had killed in order to compile such a terrifying killing intent? Kid. Don't try any crap with me. I see that your talent isn't bad, and your physical body is perhaps even perfect. If you can study my Grand Corpse Devil Refinement Technique, I guarantee you'll become a true expert within three years, said Gu I Sha. Long Chen didn't respond, descending into thought. Kid, don't get any ideas. Even in this death state, I am still alive. I've experienced over 3,000 years of time. No plots will work against me. Right now, you only have two choices. The first is death. The second is to become my apprentice and bring me out of here. I silly said Gu I Sha. How can I bring you out of here? Asked Long Chen. I can hide my soul within your danshan. You'll carry out this corpse's head to exchange for the badge. Then when you find a good opportunity, flee from the Zhuanshan Monastery and I'll bring you to my sect HMPH. There you will get 100 times better grooming than here. Long Chen sneered inside. As expected, this old ghost was trying to trick him. How could he place someone else's soul within his danshan? Did this old ghost think he was an idiot? You want me to give up my defenses so that your soul can invade my body and swallow my own soul? How is this me bringing you out? It's obviously you seizing control of me. But with his spiritual strength, it would normally be easy for him to take control of someone with my cultivation base. It seems that this corpse has some mysterious energy enveloping it that is sealing his soul inside. So he can't escape as easily as he should. What do you think? Do you want to die? Or do you want to become my apprentice? Do you want to receive my techniques that will allow you enjoy endless power and beauties? Gu I Sha Isili asked. Although he did his best to sound calm, Long Chen's own powerful spiritual strength could sense the fluctuations in his voice. Accepting you as a master is fine. Bringing you out of here is also fine. But I, Long Chen, am also this generation's genius and I still need to see what qualifications you have to be my master. What do you mean? It's simple. Teach me something that will let me admire you. If you can't satisfy me, he, as a proud man, I, Long Chen, would rather die than surrender. He proudly said, GGG. Okay, interesting. Then, I'll teach you a technique. Look closely. Gu I Sha sat down and began to speak. Your body is excellent and your physical strength is even comparable to a third rank magical beast. But you have no decent battle skills. So I'll teach you a decent battle skill right now. It is called the blood killing hand. Its strength is limitless and will allow you to fight above your realm. How do I train it? Long Chen hastily followed up. That was definitely something he really wanted to learn. To cultivate in the blood killing hand is extremely simple. Each day use the warm blood of a person's heart to dye your hand. Letting the blood and key condense over your palm. When you attack. Circulate that blood energy and easily cut across the space to crush your enemy's heart. Long Chen's heart trembled when he heard this. 
use a person's heart's blood to temper the hand every day, then didn't he need to go kill someone every single day? Furthermore, Gui Sha had said that so indifferently, it was as though he was talking about something completely insignificant. If you kill 100 people a day, then in less than 100 days you will reach the initial mastery point. If you want to reach complete mastery, it will require at least 1000 days. At that time, whenever you strike with your hand, even those with a higher cultivation base than you will still die if they aren't on guard. Now I'll teach you the technique. Wait, I'm an upright person. How can I cultivate in such sinister techniques? Raged Long Chen. Nonsense. Since I am your master, you'll definitely have to learn these. No, absolutely not. Teach me something else. Long Chen shook his head. Gui Sha was infuriated inside. He was a corrupt sect's esteemed elder. For him to teach him something other than his corrupt techniques was definitely a kind of humiliation. He actually wanted to give this brat a slap and kill him. But since he needed to rely on Long Chen's body to get out of this cave, he couldn't. He needed to take control over his body. But without Long Chen's cooperation, it would be impossible for him to escape his current corpse body. Gui Sha controlled his temper and once more told him of two other kinds of techniques. But Long Chen shook his head to both. He refused to go follow the corrupt cultivation path. Brat, don't be too excessive. Gui Sha's anger had already his limit. Has there been some mistake? Didn't you yourself say you were absolutely amazing? Just this little bit has already exhausted all your abilities. Disdainfully asked Long Chen. You, with his temperament, he would have long since tortured Long Chen to death. But unfortunately he couldn't right now. He really was afraid to lose this good of an opportunity. Fine, I'll teach you a footwork technique. It's called the Netherworld Ghost Steps. It's a secret technique I don't transmit ever. But it's extremely profound. If you can't understand it then don't blame me. Gui Sha ground his teeth and began to teach Long Chen the Netherworld Ghost Steps mnemonic. Long Chen put on a blank face as if trying to understand it was extremely taxing. But inside he was so excited he was almost about to shout. 1. Gui Sha meaning Ghost Sand. Chapter 168 Cave Age Translator. Born to be even once Long Chen had disappeared into his cave. Many people continued to closely watch. But that cave was so quiet that it was frightening. Not the slightest sound came out, causing people to look at each other in dismay. It couldn't be that he died just like that without making a sound, right? People wondered what was going on, as it had already been a while without any noise. When other people entered their caves, it was never more than just a couple breaths before intense explosions would begin to ring out. There's no way. Even if he died, he should have at least let out a scream. Tu Fang looked at that cave helplessly. He could have stopped such a thing from happening, but he had decided to keep his mouth shut when he remembered what the sect leader had told him before entering seclusion. If I remember correctly, it's been many years since anyone has ever come out of that cave, and it also seems that cave is the deepest of all the caves. Tu Fang sighed sorrowfully inside. What puzzled everyone was that no activity came from Long Chen even after all this time. They had no idea that Long Chen had already begun to fight with Gui Sha at this time. It was only that the cave was too deep, and this specific rock muffled most of the sound. There's someone coming out. Someone noticed that the sound coming from one of the other caves had faded away and a figure was slowly walking out. It's Tang Wan Er. Her hair had already scattered and there were blood stains on various parts of her body, appearing quite destitute. Her entire face was now incredibly pale, but a trace of resolve had now appeared in her eyes that had not been present before. With the head in her hand, she walked out. Yes. Tang Wan'er's people all let out cheers. There were even some women crying tears of joy. King Yu's hands cupped her face. She was already sobbing noiselessly. An extremely rare smile appeared on Tu Fang's solemn face. That was the birth of a core disciple. Tang Wan'er flew off the cliff and there was immediately someone who handed her her badge. There was no need for her to personally go over to them. That was the treatment core disciples had earned. Rubbing that badge, Tang Wan'er was filled with pride. By relying on her willpower. She had finally taken that step. From this moment on, her heart had completely transformed. For that, she would have to thank that scoundrel's reminder. Tang Wan'er smiled and looked over everyone, searching for that familiar figure. But she couldn't find him. Where is Long Chen? Asked Tang Wan'er. Her faction became silent. It was King Yu who finally said, He's in the trial. Which trial did he choose? For some reason, Tang Wan'er had a bad feeling. Dot. The core disciple trial. Sighed King Yu. That fool. Tang Wan'er's face grew even paler. 
She had just passed the core disciple trial and knew from experience just how powerful that corrupt corpse inside was. Tang Wan'er had brushed against death several times in their battle. She had used her full force, almost using up all her energy by the end. In fact, it was only because of her willpower that she had managed to endure long enough to cut off her opponent's head. She was the number one genius of her powerful family. She had many life-preserving techniques, but she had practically used them all up. Only then had she managed to eke out a slight victory. For Long Chen to attempt the same, the chances of him passing were too uncertain. Tang Wan'er was so angry that she stamped her foot and bit her lip. Why does that scoundrel never listen? King Yu gently pulled the aggrieved Tang Wan'er into a hug. Consoling. Don't worry. Long Chen isn't crazy. He'll return alive. TCH. Him. Probably not even his bones remain anymore. So stop waiting an inner disciple from Qi Xin's faction I silly ridiculed Long Chen. But before he had even finished speaking, a figure had appeared before him and a wind blade was placed right against his throat, cutting him off. Do you want to say that again? Tang Wan'er angrily glared at that person, killing intent soaring from her eyes. Because wind blades could not control as perfectly as water blades due to the wind energy constantly needing to be in movement, her wind blade had already made several cuts against that person's throat causing blood to flow down. That person turned pale from fright. The current Tang Wan'er was like a beautiful death god, about to announce his final judgment at any moment. Wan'er, King Yu was given a fright and quickly pulled her back. She couldn't possibly kill someone here, or the consequences would be far too dire. Bastard, you better pray that Long Chen's fine, or if anything happens to him, I'll cut your corpse into a thousand pieces. Tang Wan'er icily shouted as she pushed away that completely terrified fellow. That person fell flat on his butt, scared stupid. His companions quickly helped him up and brought him further away to recuperate. Tang Wan'er took a deep breath, suppressing her anger. Looking at the cave Long Chen had chosen, she prayed, Long Chen, you better return. After another quarter hour went by, Lai Kian Chang and Yu Zifeng also came out. They were covered in wounds, but they had also passed. Following them was Ye's Hikyu. Her white robes had been dyed almost completely red but her expression was as icy as ever. Only her eyes revealed a difficult-to-conceal exhaustion. The three of them first returned to their factions, receiving a heroic welcome. Once Ye's Hikyu returned to her faction, she asked Tang Wan'er, where's Long Chen? Tang Wan'er sighed and told her that Long Chen was currently in one of the caves. Ye's Hikyu consoled her, don't worry, Long Chen will be fine. I've always had a suspicion that Long Chen's strength has already surpassed our imaginations. Tang Wan'er only nodded. Taking Ye's Hikyu's words as just her attempt to comfort her, but before he came out, she would not be able to calm down. A roiling uneasiness filled her heart. Normally when Long Chen was present he would infuriate her with just a single sentence, making her want to beat him half to death. But when he wasn't by her side, she felt as if something was missing. Suddenly everyone looked back up to the stone wall. That was because the loud explosions that had been coming from there had all of a sudden become silent. Ki Xin's also come out. That person was precisely Qishin, but his current state was extremely miserable. Blood completely dyed his robes, and one of his arms was broken and just drooped there. A long cut stretched across his face, an extremely horrifying state. But he also held a person's head in his hand, so he had clearly also passed. Once he came down, a crowd of cheers welcomed him. He immediately swallowed a couple medicinal pills. His wounds were just too severe. He was the most miserable looking of all the five core disciples. There was no way around it. His water energy didn't pose that great of a threat to a corpse. His enemy hadn't feared him at all, causing him to suffer greatly. Now all five monster class experts had passed the core disciple trial, allowing Tu Fang to relax greatly. But everyone was still looking at the stone wall. There was still not the even the slightest movement from Long Chen's cave. Tu Fang sighed and turned around to another elder. Elder Li, every year's trial records are handled by you, right? Yes, nodded that elder. Then do you know what the cave ages of their trials are? Asked Tu Fang. Elder Li Qi nodded, and a notebook appeared in his hand. Lai Kian Chang's cave age was 317 years. Ye's Hikyu's was 365 years. Yu Zifeng's was 396 years. Qi Xin's was 298 years. And Tang Wan'er's was 478 years. A burst of questions rang out from the crowd. What was a cave age? What meaning was behind that? Was that when the cave had been excavated? Tu Fang told them. Some of you might not have realized, but the corrupt corpses you fought all had an expert soul sealed within them. 
That soul could control the corpse to fight. Furthermore, the souls within these corpses are capable of cultivating themselves. As more time passes, their souls become to grow stronger, their strength also rising. Although all the corpse bodies of the trials are on the same level, the souls within them have not been sealed for the same times. So their strengths also vary. From the moment a soul is sealed within one of the cave's corpses, we begin counting the time to get the cave age. The higher the cave age, the stronger the soul within the corpse, and so the greater the strength of the corpse. The outer disciple trials corpses all have weaker souls sealed within them, and the corpses themselves are also weaker. Those souls all have cave ages around 10 to 30 years. As for the inner disciple trials, those corpses are a bit higher grade and have cave ages around 50 to 100 years. So if two people with equal strength, one might easily pass, while the other might die inside. That's up to luck. Hearing that, an uproar immediately exploded from the crowd. No wonder there were some people who were clearly stronger yet had failed to pass. If you want to become an expert, other than talent, perseverance, and intelligence, luck is also equally important. Those who are out of luck are fated to never be able to become experts. As for the core disciple trials, they are also the same, but the cave ages are between 200 to 500. Furthermore, those corpses are refined from experts of the corrupt path and are incomparably hard, and the souls sealed within their bodies are elders of corrupt sects. Some of them were even stronger than us elders. Most importantly, because they are corrupt cultivators, their spiritual strength is exceptionally strong and they maintain a powerful combat skill. Although those corpses limit their true strength, they are still incomparably terrifying, explained Tu Fang. Hearing this, everyone understood just how powerful the opponents of the monster class geniuses had been. No wonder even people as powerful as them appeared so miserable now. Qishin had even almost died. As for Qishin, his expression became green as he listened to this. Wasn't this a slap in his face? He had fought against the cave with the lowest cave age, but he had ended up suffering the most injuries. Was Tu Fang using him as an example? Everyone looked at those core disciples with great respect. That was especially true of Tang Wan Er. She should be the number one of the monsters. Tang Wan Er suddenly asked, Elder, I want to ask, just what is the cave age of Long Chen's cave? That elder with the notebook nodded and looked up that cave's cave age. But when he saw that number, he let out a startled cry. What? Chapter 169 Most Difficult Trial in All of History Translator Born to be when that elder saw that number, his expression completely changed. He looked at it with disbelief. How is this possible? Everyone was shocked. To cause an elder level expert to become so shocked. Just what was it? Tu Fang sighed. If I haven't remembered wrongly, the fellow that is imprisoned in that cave has never been defeated in many years. Tang Wan Er hastily asked. What is the cave age? The situation was definitely not good. Her heart sunk. One thousand. One thousand and twenty-five years. Sputtered out that elder. The crowd descended into absolute silence. After each battle. Those souls in the corpses would end up using up all their spiritual energy, requiring a great deal of time to recover. It was like raising pigs. Once they were fat enough, you would slaughter it. After each battle, the soul inside would be exhausted and the cave age would be reset to zero. Each corrupt corpse that had its head cut off wasn't actually dead, but the soul sealed within the corpse would have used up so much energy that it needed to rest. They would just find another corpse to replace it with, switching them out. And the monastery had a rule that the core disciple trials corrupt corpses cave age could not surpass 500 years. If it did, the elders would personally go out to kill those corrupt corpses, using up all their spiritual energy and putting in a new corpse. That was because corrupt corpses that had surpassed a cave age of 500 years had already surpassed the limit of what a blood condensation genius could handle. Entering such a cave would only result in death for them. That elder's face was deathly pale now. He was in charge of these caves, but he had made such an error. That was definitely an extremely great error. Elder Tu Fang, that elder sadly sighed, but he was also a straightforward and upright person. He knew he had made an extremely grave mistake, causing a genius to die. He would accept his punishment. Tu Fang shook his head. This matter isn't your fault. Tu Fang had been in the Zhuanshan Monastery for many years. He already completely understood all the elders. This elder was an extremely attentive person. It was normally impossible for him to have made such a mistake. And in the past 500 years, all the other caves that had surpassed the 500-year limit had all been reset to zero. Only this one had remained. That was definitely odd. In the past 500 years, 
the three elders in charge of the caves had never noticed it, and when Tu Fang saw that cave, he had immediately thought of a possibility. Perhaps it was simply that fate had foreordained Long Chen to choose that cave, but he of course wouldn't dare to say that out loud. He remembered what the sect leader had repeatedly warned him about. He was admiring the sect leader even more for his courage to prove Long Chen was a true divergent. That elder was completely confused why the normally completely strict enforcement elder Tu Fang would so easily forgive his error. How could Long Chen possibly pass such a high cave age? Why aren't you going to save him? Tang Wan'er angrily raged. Tu Fang shook his head. It's already been this long. Even if we went now, it has no meaning. Right now we can only hope Long Chen is lucky. What? Tang Wan'er had only barely managed to avoid death when her cave age had only been in the 400s. The higher the cave age, the faster those souls would cultivate. Naturally that represented an exponential growth in strength as well. Tang Wan'er ground her teeth and turned, rushing over to the stone wall. Wan'er, come back. King Yu was given a fright. She knew Tang Wan'er was planning on personally going to save Long Chen, and it was already too late for her to stop her. Tang Wan'er had already reached the stone wall. Boom. A huge heaven-shaking explosion rang out just at this moment. People raised their heads to see that the cave Long Chen had been in had completely exploded, and a wretched figure had flown out. Is it Long Chen? Someone called out. Long Chen was fleeing for his life. As soon as he had jumped out, a huge palm image had shot out, narrowly missing smashing him. That hand was just an empty image, but the berserk energy within it shook everyone. The entire stone wall was quivering. After that palm image attack, an angry row rang out filled with icy killing intent. You wretched brat. You dare trick me. Die. Following that shout, a black figure flew out of the cave, its entire body covered in black mist. As soon as that figure flew out, it was immediately lit up by the light of the stone pillars. That black mist around its body was immediately burnt away with a sizzling sound. A-H-H. -H. You've really angered me now. Brat. Stand still. That figure actually decided to chase after Long Chen in front of everyone's appalled gazes despite being covered by that light. Long Chen. Tang Wan'er on the other hand was celebrating. Foolish girl. What are you just standing there for? Run. As soon as Long Chen had jumped out of that cave, he had seen Tang Wan'er looking up to him. Long Chen immediately pushed her forward, sending her flying forward. Boom. She had only just been pushed out of the wave when a huge hand fell from the sky. Long Chen didn't have time to dodge and was smashed into the ground. A huge crater formed with Long Chen at the center. Even some of the surrounding stones were completely destroyed. Everything was happening so fast that no one had even reacted yet. But at this time Tu Fang shouted. Form the White Tiger Dragon Ceiling Formation. Those elders all immediately slammed their hands on the stone pillars in front of them. Lines appeared over the 16 stone pillars. A huge net surged out of the pillars and covered that figure. Long Chen crawled out of the ground at this time, completely bruised and battered. And that was only because his physical body was exceptionally strong. He was so dazed he was seeing stars. But seeing that Ji Yu Sha was finally trapped within that grand formation, he finally relaxed. At the very least he had managed to escape alive. Everyone was completely shocked. They blankly looked at that black figure. Black mist still surged out of his body, making it so no one could clearly see his features. But although they couldn't see him clearly, they could all clearly sense he was a powerful corrupt corpse. Those people who had failed to pass the trial and managed to flee from the caves had also had corrupt corpses chase them out. But as soon as those corrupt corpses had gone out of the cave, they were lit up by the stone pillar's light and immediately turned into a true corpse. The soul inside completely scattering. But the corrupt corpse fighting Long Chen was actually able to resist that light and chase him out of the cave. Being trapped by this formation, no matter how he struggled, Ji Yu Sha was unable to move. It was as if he were bound by countless invisible ropes. Long Chen. Something unexpected occurred during this trial. However it is still within the scope of the trial. So right now. Your trial is still not over. You can now choose to continue taking the trial, or you can give up. But if you give up, you will have failed to join the monastery. Tu Fang looked at Long Chen. Long Chen directly rolled his eyes. What kind of joke was that? You want me to fight against this strong of a monster? Isn't that just sending me to my death? Within the cave, Long Chen had been humbly learning Ji Yu Sha's netherworld ghost steps the entire time. That set of footwork was extremely amazing. It was an extremely profound footwork technique, and he had not only memorized the techniques mnemonic that Ji Yu Sha had originally taught him, he had also asked many questions about practicing the technique. 
getting many details Ji Yi Sha had been reserving from him. Originally Ji Yi Sha had only been using the mnemonic in order to fool Long Chen. However, Long Chen continuously asked him more and more details over and over, and despite his intense rage, he could only swallow his anger in order to achieve his goal. He explained everything, wasting a great deal of time. Every time his anger was about to explode out, Long Chen would say that if he refused to teach him more, he would commit suicide so that he couldn't achieve his goal. Ji Yi Sha had been taken advantage of with no choice out of it. Furthermore, Long Chen was actually extremely crafty, and his knowledge of circulating qi and the routes within his body was even greater than an old demon like him. And so Ji Yi Sha was unable to even make things up. After that long of a time, he ended up explaining all of the netherworld ghost steps to Long Chen. He could only console himself that once he entered Long Chen's body, he would immediately devour his soul. It was fine for Long Chen to have a slight advantage for now. Finally Ji Yi Sha had begun to tell Long Chen to make his preparations to have his soul extracted from this corpse and inserted into his dantian. First Long Chen had to place his finger between Ji Yi Sha's eyebrows. Ji Yi Sha then began to circulate his spiritual strength to attack his seal. The moment Ji Yi Sha's spiritual strength began to circulate, the corrupt corpse immediately began to glow with countless lines, trying to seal in his spiritual strength. But in the end, Ji Yi Sha had managed to open up a hole at his forehead, telling Long Chen not to resist. He had sent his spiritual strength flowing through Long Chen's finger to his dantian. Long Chen had also assented at that time. So Ji Yi Sha was focused on resisting the runic power while also bringing out his soul. That process was extremely tiresome and slow. Long Chen could sense Ji Yi Sha's terrifying spiritual strength sharply dropping as it resisted those runes. At that time Long Chen had stealthily begun to make his preparations. Over half of Ji Yi Sha's soul had been injected into his finger and was now flowing through his arm. Long Chen knew the moment had come. The thunder force he had kept all that time was sent viciously slamming into Ji Yi Sha's soul. Spiritual strength was most afraid of thunder force. Even someone as powerful as Ji Yi Sha was unable to bear it. He had let out a miserable scream and flown back, an extremely heavy injury appearing on his soul. Long Chen had then immediately fled for his life with his greatest speed. But Ji Yi Sha was too terrifying. Even having lost half his spiritual strength, he had quickly reacted. His anger had already completely exploded out now. He knew Long Chen had been playing him the entire time. He had never had any intentions of cooperating with him. He began to crazily attack him. Unfortunately, Long Chen had already run out. Due to his incredible anger, Ji Yi Sha was willing to do anything in order to kill Long Chen and had even chased him out of the cave. Using a secret technique, he was able to temporarily block the light coming from the stone pillars. But before he could kill Long Chen, he was trapped. Seeing Long Chen looking at him disdainfully, Tu Fang tossed out another condition. You can invite your companions to help. Chapter 173 Heroes Fighting an Old Ghost Translator Born to be and I will tell you truth right now. Under the suppression of the White Tiger Dragon suppressing formation, his strength will at least be cut in half. That is also a compensation to you from the monastery. As for whether or not you accept it, that will be up to you, said Tu Fang. Tu Fang's words immediately caused shock to ripple through the crowd. He could work with his companions? How was that compensation? That was clearly cheating. Before Long Chen could even reply, Qishin had angrily stood up. Elder Tu Fang, how can you handle it like this? Previously you said that luck was also an important part of strength. Since Long Chen entered that cave, it can only be said that his luck is bad. For you to offer him an easy path is completely unfair. Qishin had yet to recover but he absolutely wouldn't just stand there as Long Chen got a huge advantage. Everyone else was also looking at Tu Fang. Qi Xin's words were completely correct. By doing it like this, Tu Fang truly was favoring Long Chen. Tu Fang only indifferently replied, in order for the monastery to develop, it naturally formed some rules that favored the powerful. Of course, if you can't accept that and think it's unfair, then all right, I can place this corrupt corpse back into the cave. As long as any of you can manage to stay alive for the time it takes for an incense stick to burn, I will give you three core disciple positions. Tu Fang's words caused everyone's heart to pound. Three core disciple positions? Had they heard wrong? HMPH. But let me tell you, this corrupt corpse's soul used to be a powerful expert. Only someone with the sect leader's top level power was able to subdue him. Although he sealed within this corrupt corpse, 
he hasn't used up his spiritual energy in over a thousand years and has already recovered to possess a frightening strength. Within that cave, even the bone-forging elders would all be killed by him. Now is there still anyone who is unconvinced and wants to take that test? Tu Fang icily swept his gaze over everyone. He could kill bone-forging elders? Everyone turned numb, involuntarily turning to look at Long Chen. They could not understand how Long Chen had managed to get out alive, let alone them. Even the elders were bewildered. Since this corpse was able to resist the light from the stone pillars and charge out to kill people, that meant its strength had reached a shocking point. According to common sense, for such a person, killing Long Chen would be pretty much the same difficulty as killing an ant. But when Long Chen had come out, his clothing had still been intact and not even his hair was a mess. That was completely incomprehensible. Had that brutal old monster just been having a nice conversation with him? The funny thing was, that sarcastic joke was actually the right guess. That old ghost had just been chatting with Long Chen the entire time, wanting to steal away his body to escape the Zhuanchen Monastery. Tu Fang's words immediately caused Qishin to shut his mouth. He wasn't an idiot and new elder Tu Fang had already become slightly irritated with him. Obviously Tu Fang possessed great authority within the Zhuanchen Monastery. It had been many years since anyone had dared to retort against him. For him to have not angrily cursed Qishin was already giving him face. For a moment, the entire crowd was completely silent as everyone stared at Long Chen. They were watching to see how he would reply. Long Chen looked at Tu Fang. How weak has this old ghost's combat ability dropped to? He needs to use his spiritual strength to control the black mist. And he's also being restricted by the white tiger dragon suppressing formation. His current combat ability should be around 30% greater than the corrupt corpse that fought against Tang Wan. Er. Tu Fang examined the corrupt corpse that was completely suppressed by the formation to the point that it was unable to even move. Only then did Long Chen relax slightly. Walking to Tang Wan Er. He asked. Was the one you fought powerful? Tang Wan Er nodded extremely powerful. The fact that I could kill him was also thanks to my luck. If we fought again, I wouldn't necessarily win again. Thinking back to that previous battle, Tang Wan Er shivered in fear. That corrupt corpse had been too strong. Its corpse hard as iron. Her wind blades had been unable to break its body. But to the corpse, any part of its indestructible body was a lethal weapon. If it had landed a direct blow on her weaker body, she would definitely have been heavily injured, if not dead and so she had had to fight extremely carefully the entire time. Long Chen, this danger should be worth it. With me and Sister Wan are helping you, we should have a large chance of success. Ye's Hikyu had also walked up now, although they had both already fought previously. After two hours of recovery and with the assistance of medicinal pills, that had at least recovered to 80%, Long Chen was moved. According to Tu Fang's explanation, it was definitely possible to win this battle but he knew that it would be extremely difficult and risky. Before the battle, let me give you a warning. Opportunities are always combined with risk. There are no free lunches in this world. If you succeed, Long Chen will obtain a core disciple badge, receiving a core disciple's treatment. But if you lose, those two core disciple positions you two have obtained will become invalid. So think about it carefully. Tu Fang warned. Long Chen raged. Can you not explain the rules all in one go? Are you trying to mess with us? Why are there so many ridiculous rules? Aren't they just playing around with us? During despair you give a bit of hope. During hope you give me some more despair. Long Chen raged inside. As for the other elders, they were stupefied. It seemed it had been many years since anyone had dared shout at the enforcement elder like this. Tu Fang was also a bit startled, but he didn't really become angry at Long Chen. In this situation, it was true that the monastery was in the wrong. That's why I said opportunity and risk exist together. You guys can discuss it, lightly said Tu Fang. Now it was much more difficult for the three of them. Yes Hikyu and Tang Wan Er had risked their own lives to obtain their core disciple badges. If they lost it, they would be left with nothing. That kind of gamble was far too large. You two can leave for now. I'll try it on my own, said Long Chen. He didn't want to drag these two down with him. Tang Wan Er shook her head. You don't know how terrifying that corrupt corpse is. Your chances of winning on your own are too low. But as for sisters Hikyu Ye's Hikyu didn't wait for Tang Wan Er to finish before shaking her head. You don't need to try and dissuade me. Since we are in an alliance, I refuse to back down when you need me. In my entire life, I've never gambled on anything. Now I want to see how my luck is. Ye's Hikyu's expression might be always icy, but her heart was warm. 
Last time after they obtained the profound spirit fruit, both of them had said they didn't want it, leaving it for her. Although they both said the profound spirit fruit wasn't useful to them, that wasn't really true. It was just that both of them purposely left it to her who needed it the most. That favor was always remembered by her. Now that Long Chen needed help, her honor would not allow her to turn her back to him. Seeing both of them supporting him, Long Chen's heart warmed. This kind of feeling of trust really was moving. Oh two beauties, for you to love and protect your junior brother like this. Junior brother really is moved Long Chen exclaimed in admiration. Stop, what kind of time is this? No more of your glib tongue. Tang Wan Er knew Long Chen was about to start acting wacky again and hastily stopped him. Prepare yourself. Us three will bring out our full strength to get his head. At that time, you will also be a core disciple. A core disciple's treatment is far greater than you imagine. You definitely have to do everything you can do win. Understood. Long Chen nodded. But before that I'll first have to get a good weapon. He shouted to Tang Wan Er and Ye's Hikyu's people. Hey, is there anyone who can lend me a weapon? The heavier the better it went without saying that having many people helping was extremely convenient. One huge and burly fellow walked out with a huge saber even longer than himself. The saber was nine feet long and the back of the blade was at least seven inches thick. Its entire body was black. Just looking at it, it appeared incredibly heavy. My family's rainfall mountain splitting saber is almost five tons. Can you use it? That fellow was one of Ye's Hikyu's people. Long Chen received that long saber and tested out its weight a bit. He happily said, Thank you brother, lend me your saber for a moment. That fellow was speechless as he saw that his blade was practically weightless in Long Chen's hands. Even for him, using this saber would require him using his full strength. And even so, he wouldn't be able to use it as easily as Long Chen. Holding that huge saber, Long Chen's entire manner changed. He was like a sword being unsheathed giving people the feeling of a dust-covered divine weapon finally being awoken. What I really is need is something heavy like this thing. I really don't know when I'll be able to find one for my own that satisfies me. With that saber in his hand, he was filled with confidence. Holding the saber on his shoulder, he said to Tu Fang, Let the trial begin. Tu Fang nodded, a trace of admiration appearing in his eyes. Despite clearing knowing that it was dangerous, Despite clearly knowing he couldn't possibly survive the consequences of losing, he still dared jump into battle. That wasn't arrogance, but a kind of Deo heart. It was a kind of unparalleled Deo heart, a confidence that would break out of any and all shackles. Tu Fang had purposely let him take this trial. According to the monastery's rules, someone who failed the core disciple trial but came out alive would only be able to become an outer disciple. That would definitely be unfair to someone with Long Chen's talent and so Tu Fang had been unable to endure, using his own authority to give Long Chen another chance to obtain a core disciple position. Although the sect leader had advised him not to interfere with Long Chen's growth, in Tu Fang's opinion, he didn't consider this intentionally favoring Long Chen. If it was any other genius, he would have also done the same thing, so it couldn't count as interfering with him. At the same time, Tu Fang had also given Long Chen even greater pressure, and in front of that pressure, Long Chen had still stood back up. Furthermore, there were even two other experts who would face that danger with him. It was obvious how charismatic he was. He trusted that if Long Chen could obtain a core disciple's treatment, he would definitely rise like a shooting star. In the future competitions, he would definitely radiate a brilliance that would bring the monastery to the peak. Long Chen, Tang Wan Er, and Ye's Hikyu slowly walked to the front of the formation. That formation was like a net of light that enveloped an area of several miles. As for Gui Sha, he was trapped in the center of that formation. There were countless rays of light that sealed him in place, making it so no matter how he struggled, it was absolutely useless. Watching those three figures slowly walk into the formation, Tu Fang announced, Begin the trial. Following his voice, the light sealing Gui Sha's body slowly faded, and Gui Sha immediately obtained his freedom. Having escaped from his bindings, Gui Sha immediately let out an angry howl and charged at Long Chen. Chapter 171 Long Chen's Peak State Translator Born to be Gui Sha angrily howled. He shot forward like a phantom, appearing in front of Long Chen in an instant. He was so fast it was almost impossible to see his movements. Moon Wine Slash Tang Wan Er was the first to react. She didn't know how powerful Long Chen really was. So she first helped him to block Gui Sha's attack. Fuck off. Novaloon.com Gui Sha roared and with a single hand, brushed away Tang Wan'er's wind blades. P. 
People were horrified to see that the wind blades Tang Wan Er had used her core energy to condense and had runic power to support them were easily forced to explode by his palm, and he didn't halt in the slightest from his wind blades, immediately sending a palm at Tang Wan Er's body. There was no doubt in anyone's mind that if that withered hand reached Tang Wan Er, she would immediately die. Chilling ice wall. Suddenly a wall of ice appeared in front of Tang Wan Er. Gui Sha's withered hand slammed into the ice wall. The ice wall immediately shattered. But Tang Wan Er also took that chance to retreat. From the moment Gui Sha was released to now, less than a breath of time had passed. But Gui Sha had defeated two monster class experts' techniques in that moment. One attack and one defense. Neither of them had had any meaning in front of Gui Sha's single hand. That completely horrified everyone. Just how powerful was this corrupt corpse? Had he really been weakened? The disciples under Tang Wan Er and Ye's Hikia were immediately filled with worry. That corrupt corpse was far too frightening. How was that fair at all? And it wasn't just the disciples who thought so. Even the elder's expression changed. Probably the sealed soul used to be an expert of a corrupt sect with just his spiritual energy. He is able to reach such a terrifying level. Tu Fang was also a bit startled. This corrupt corpse's strength had already surpassed his expectations by a great deal. He didn't know whether the three of them really could defeat Chiringit. All of you be prepared. As soon as I make a signal, charge into the formation and restrain that corrupt corpse. This was a back door he had opened for Long Chen. So he definitely didn't want to mess it up. If the three of them really ended up getting crippled or dying, he would never forgive himself. If ordinary people died, then fine. The monastery didn't lack mediocre fellows. What they lacked was peak combat strength. They couldn't do without any of these three. After destroying that ice wall with just a single hand, Gui Sha didn't hesitate at all to send his claw snatching at Ye's Hikyu. Get your dog claw away. An icy snort rang out as a huge saber cut across the air with an unstoppable air. That terrifying saw bear key filled the air. A huge saber image dozens of meters long filled the sky. That saber image seemed as if it was a divinity's blades that was capable of destroying the world. Gui Sha raised a single palm to face off against that saber image. Boom. The land shook and both Long Chen and Gui Sha were knocked back. The place they had collided was covered in cracks spreading hundreds of meters. How powerful. The spectators were awed by that practically divine figure holding that saber. Of the people here, few had even seen Long Chen begin to move. Although they had heard Long Chen was powerful, they had also all heard he had been struck by Lai Kian Chang's thunder seed. So everyone assumed there was no way he was actually on the same level as monster class experts. Gui Sha's palm had been able to easily break apart the two beauties' techniques. It had to be known that Tang Wan Er had managed to defeat Chiringa corrupt corpse with a cave age of over 400 years. But the same powerful attacks she had used then were now easily destroyed. It could be seen how terrifyingly powerful this particular corrupt corpse was. In contrast, Long Chen was able to knock the corrupt corpse back with his saber. At least on the outside, it seemed Long Chen might be evenly matched with it. Perhaps Long Chen really could defeat Ring Corpse if he used his full strength. The elders were shocked, and one of them exclaimed, What powerful strength and exquisite control! What a domineering saber! The elders were naturally all true experts. They had all seen through that Long Chen's saber had completely managed to condense his mind, spirit, and key together. His saber's angle and positioning had all been perfect to bring out the greatest possible power. Even a cultivator who trained in the Saber Deo for tens of years would be unable to bring out such a perfectly controlled attack like Long Sands. That was why all the elders were filled with admiration. Old ghost, didn't you like oppressing me inside the cave? Well now it's my turn. Long Chen voice rang out like thunder, raising his saber in both hands. His Feng Fu star quickly circulated, unceasingly pouring spiritual ki into his body. People could see with their naked eye that the air around him was slowly twisting. It was as if he were enveloped with water. Then space began to boil and it was like the world was filled with surging waves. What a powerful aura. Tang Wan Er and Ye's Hikia were shocked. Long Chen's aura was still continuing to rise. He had entered a completely different state than how he normally was. Long Chen knew just how terrifying this old ghost was. And so he no longer kept anything back. It was time for him to fight all out. All the energy within his Feng Fu star surged out. Filling his every meridian. Only this Long Chen was the Long Chen in his peak state. Ki waves continuously soared into the sky. His robes billowed, his hair danced, and he appeared just like a god. People were all stupefied, not expecting that once Long Chen's full strength exploded out, it would be so domineering. 
That kind of will that seemed to want to cut apart heaven and earth filled them with reverence. Is this a divergent? Disdainfully looking down on the world, defying fate, taking heaven and earth as enemies. Tu Fang muttered to himself inside. He wished to ask the world, what kind of person would possess such a manner? What person dared to possess such a will? Once Long Chen released all the energy within the Feng Fu star, spiritual ki completely filled his entire body. He relished in this kind of feeling of surging with energy. You actually hid your cultivation base. Ji Yu Sha looked at Long Chen with shock. The current Long Chen was completely different from the Long Chen he had encountered in the cave. Long Chen lifted the saber to his shoulder, icily smiling to Ji Yu Sha. Don't you think your question is a bit too stupid? If I hadn't hidden my cultivation base, just how could I have escaped from you? Ji Yu Sha immediately became infuriated. Back then he had never thought Long Chen's body would contain thunder force causing him to suffer greatly. He had also been careless. That was because Long Chen's acting had just been too good. If Long Chen had exploded out with this powerful of an aura back then, he definitely would have been more on guard. Unfortunately it was too late for regret. At this time, Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu both came to Long Chen's side. Tang Wan'er's eyes rippled. This Long Chen was extremely fascinating. Two beauties. I'll take the vanguard and face this old ghost head on. You two wait for good opportunities to land attacks. This old ghost has no weak points to speak of. If we want to kill him, we need to completely exhaust all his spiritual strength. Be careful, warned Long Chen. Although he hadn't had the experience of killing a corrupt corpse, he knew this corpse didn't actually have any life energy. It was only moving with the control of the soul within. Furthermore, this corrupt corpse's body was too hard. With the addition of the soul within it, it was almost impossible to damage. So if they wanted to win, they first needed to exhaust its spiritual energy first. You be careful too, warned Tang Wan'er. Long Chen nodded, focusing on Ji Yu Sha. He leaned forward slightly, raising his saber. I'm going, with the press of his foot. He had already charged up to Ji Yu Sha. Ice cold saw air key slashed down at Ji Yu Sha. With a cold snort, strange lines appeared over Ji Yu Sha's black fist and he punched at Long Chen's saber. Bang. Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu saw Long Chen be sent flying. They were stepping forward to take advantage of this brief opening when suddenly a terrifying wave of ki surged over them. The two of them were actually forced back several meters just from that terrifying wave. They were both shocked. Just the aftermaths of their battle made it so they were unable to approach. Just what level of strength was that? Boom, boom, boom. Saber light danced and ki waves surged. Dust filled the air, immediately covering the entire battlefield. People were already unable to see Long Chen's figure. They could only see that whirling saw bear key and hear those ear-splitting collisions that caused the ground to shake. Their faces paled. Even Lai Qianchang and Qishin were filled with shock as they watched. In their eyes, Long Chen had only been a loathsome, minor character that was never a true opponent for them. But this terrifying power of his and that unstoppable will of his finally told them Long Chen had hidden his true strength. Tu Fang excitedly watched, celebrating inside. What he viewed most highly of Long Chen wasn't his powerful strength or his forceful spiritual key, but that unstoppable confidence. He had carefully groomed these monastery disciples to slowly form some of that confidence. That was because only someone who possessed such a confidence would be able to explode out with their full potential. But grooming that kind of confidence was too difficult, and that was why they mostly only accepted disciples from powerful families. Those people were very confident in themselves. However, that kind of confidence was actually just a kind of conceit. Being so arrogant was actually just being stupid. But it was on that foundation that they groomed true confidence. That would be at least a bit easier than trying to groom those self-inferior fellows. The reason why so many of these registrants would do stupid things was precisely because they were too conceited. The monastery would temper them, rejecting that conceit and leaving their confidence. Then through experiencing life and death trials they would gradually begin to walk the path of an expert. As for Long Chen, he seemed to have been born with that unstoppable Dao heart. Furthermore it was an extremely firm Dao heart that no one could possibly shake in the slightest. Even in the face of such a powerful corrupt corpse, he still didn't feel any fear. Tu Fang now finally understood how he had managed to escape from the hands of an expert ten times stronger than him. In this world, there were no coincidences. People's jaws dropped as they saw this horrifying fight that had surpassed their imaginations. They finally understood just what was a monster. If Lai Qianchang and the others were monsters, 
Then Long Chen was a monster amongst monsters. He fought for over an hour, his tempest-like reign of attacks not slowing down in the slightest. In fact, he only became stronger and stronger, his attacks coming faster and faster. With Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu to the side helping with their wind blades and ice blades, the three of them had actually surrounded and were suppressing Ji Yu Sha. Just when everyone thought this battle's ending was already set in stone, a mournful cry rang out from Ji Yu Sha. Bastards, all of you will die for me. Netherworld Soul Ignition, Chapter 172 Revived Ancestral Mark Translator, Born to be Netherworld Soul Ignition, Following Guo Sha's Roar. The black mist around his body disappeared as lines began to appear over his coke-like body. A devilish aura exploded from him and soared into the sky. Those disciples watching were immediately filled with endless terror. It was like countless evil souls were trying to draw them in. That kind of terror struck deep into their hearts. What's going on? Has he already broken part of the seal? The elders were horrified as well. These corpses had all personally had souls sealed into them by experts on the same level as their sect leader. In the past thousands of years, there had never been such a situation. The fact that his spiritual strength was able to exit the corpse, even if it was just an incredibly small portion, was incredibly horrifying. By igniting his spiritual strength as the price, he can resist a portion of the formation's suppression. Do we go block him? Asked an elder. The situation had already completely exceeded any of their expectations. Part of Gui Sha's true strength had now erupted out due to him not caring about his life anymore. The Grand Formation was in a suppression state. If they increased the power of the seal, that would make it jump to another level and it would directly kill Gui Sha. All of you be prepared to go save them, ordered Tu Fang. Normally since this situation had already surpassed his prediction, he would have ended the trial. But Tu Fang always had this feeling that Long Chen still had trump cards. His eyes were still too calm. So calm that it was frightening. Space was continuously quivering and even the earth was also rocking. That evil air was continuously exploding out, causing people to tremble. Those distant spectators all clearly knew that no matter how powerful that corrupt corpse was, the elders would definitely not let it harm them. But despite that, they were still unable to suppress that terror that surged out of the deepest part of their hearts. They all retreated further back. Some of them were already sweating and pale. Long Chen was also surprised by Ji Yu Sha's action. He slashed his saber, his mind completely focused. Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu were also on opposite sides of him, closely watching Ji Yu Sha's movements. Their expressions were slightly pale. At this close of a distance, that evil aura still struck fear in their hearts despite their powerful will. Be careful. This old ghost has already killed countless people in his lifetime. His body has accumulated a great aura of death and resentment. Since he's already died, that aura of death and resentment has already merged together with his soul. That's a formless kind of energy that will attack your state of mind. But to you too, this is also an extremely rare opportunity. Use this chance to temper your spiritual strength and firm your Dao hearts, said Long Chen. That terror in Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu's heart stabilized a great deal. An unknown force was the most terrifying. Now that Long Chen had explained the mysteries within Ji Yu Sha's aura, their terror faded a great deal. The two of them looked at each other. They could tell that they were both filled with admiration for Long Chen. He was normally such a wacky, glad-tongued brat. But in true life and death times, he was truly reliable. GGG. Ji Yu Sha sinisterly laughed. The sound like insects crawling into their ears. The distant spectators actually immediately turned pale. Just the sound of his laugh caused their souls to ache. Little bastard. You actually dare scheme against me. I've never suffered such a loss in my entire life. You can die for me now. At this moment, Gui Sha's body was completely covered in strange lines that looked like countless centipedes all over his body, appearing exceptionally terrifying. He sent a palm straight at Long Chen. Long Chen didn't dare by careless, slashing his saber against his palm. Bang. It was as if his saber had slashed on steel. He was sent flying back, his stomach heaving. His throat tasted sweet as he vomited a mouthful of blood. Previously Long Chen had been able to fight him evenly, but now Ji Yu Sha had injured him with a single blow, horrifying everyone. How powerful had this corrupt corpse become? Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikia were both greatly startled and sent out their wind blades and ice blades against Ji Yu Sha. Those two huge blades were several meters long. They mercilessly cut across the air, but the moment they arrived in front of Ji Yu Sha, they came to a sudden stop. Two black hands that were covered in centipede-like lines had firmly grabbed those huge blades. 
With a light shout, the huge blades that had been condensed with Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu's runic power were easily crushed. While gales flew out from those blades exploding, ice fragments rained from the sky. Two monster class experts' full strength attacks were nothing in front of Gu Sha. They were like children, easily brushed away by him. Fuck off. Gu Sha suddenly pushed with his palms, releasing a fierce astral wind that swept towards the both of them. Before the astral wind even arrived, the land around them had already cracked and a tsunami like energy attacked them. Gu Sha's speed was so fast that neither of them had even had a chance to dodge. They both smelled the scent of death. They knew if they didn't manage to block it, they would definitely die. A firm determination appeared over Tang Wan'er's face. Her hands continuously formed seals, and a faint image appeared over the space between her eyebrows. When that image appeared, countless wind blades began to swirl around her body. There were at least over a thousand of them. Once those wind blades formed, they began to gather together, forming an absolutely giant wind blade over a hundred meters long. When that wind blade appeared, the sky began to thunder along with it, its pressure spreading everywhere. At the same time as Tang Wan'er condensed that enormous wind blade, Ye's Hikyu also formed hand seals, and a flower petal appeared over her forehead. That flower petal appeared to have been made out of ice crystal. Following the appearance of that petal, an ice sword appeared before her, also over a hundred meters long. When that ice sword appeared, the entire world seemed to slow down. Sound disappeared from the world. All that remained in the world was that terrifying key. Excellent. Tu Fang had been observing this entire time. At this moment when life and death were balanced on the tip of a needle, the both of them had achieved an initial awakening of their ancestral mark, that indicated their future cultivation path would be wide and far. The ancestral mark was an innate talent left behind in their bloodline energy by an absolute peak power ancestor, that was the greatest gift experts left behind their descendants. This talent would continue to be passed on along with the bloodline, but as the bloodline strength in the descendants grew thinner, that talent would also become weaker. If too much time passed without anyone awakening the bloodline strength, that bloodline talent would completely disappear. The first indication of the bloodline awakening was the revival of the ancestral mark. Those two images on top the two beauties foreheads were precisely their ancestral marks. To revive the ancestral mark was incredibly difficult. It was said that only at life and death moments when one felt an intense, mortal danger would there be a slight chance of reviving the ancestral mark. That was only an extremely slim chance. Geniuses which possessed a bloodline strength were already few and far between. No family would allow such a genius to actually risk their life for the slight chance of reviving the ancestral mark. And so many powerful families of experts had eventually faded away as their bloodline strength dried up. That was because it was incredibly rare for a person to later awaken the bloodline. In the secular world, there was a saying that wealth never survived three generations. That was because if the descendants were useless, then no matter how many riches there were at the beginning, those descendants would never be able to continue it and would quickly be ruined. The cultivation world was also the same. If within 100 generations of descendants the bloodline remained unawakened, then that ancestral inheritance would completely disappear. And so the monastery also thought of many ways to try to stimulate those life and death trials, hoping to revive the ancestral mark and awaken the bloodline inheritance. But over many years, the results had been extremely lacking. Within Tu Fang's memories, there had only been one disciple who had awakened their ancestral mark in the past couple hundred years, and that was already something that had happened a long time ago. But this time, there were now two disciples who revived their ancestral marks at once. How could Tu Fang not be overjoyed? Reviving the ancestral mark was just too difficult. Boom. Neither Tang Wan or Ye's Hiki were even aware they had awakened their ancestral mark. They were already slashing their enormous blades at their enemy. Three energies exploded. The earth shivered and a huge key wave exploded out. Terrifying astral wind shot out everything. Even those people miles away were unable to stay standing in that wind and had to repeatedly fall back. Too terrifying. What a powerful attack. Is this really an attack of someone in the blood condensation realm? Despite also being in the blood condensation realm, such an attack had already far surpassed their imaginations. That kind of difference was far too great, let alone fighting against that kind of attack. If they were even a bit closer, they might have been smashed to pulp. Once the explosion ended, Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikia were sent flying back by a terrifying key wave. Their faces were pale as paper and they felt as if every bone in their body was about to break. They had unconsciously awakened their ancestral mark. 
causing their strength to evolve to a new level. But they were unaware how to use that energy. Just that one attack ended up overdrawing all their spiritual key, and now they were completely exhausted. Without spiritual key to defend their weaker bodies, there was no way to defend against the aftermath of that collision, and they immediately coughed up blood. Go die. A huge palm image slammed down on the two of them as they were flying back. If they were hit by that palm image, the two of them would undoubtedly die. The entire crowd let out startled cries. Some people even shut their eyes, not willing to see the scene of two beautiful women tragically dying. Parting wind slash. A huge saber image appeared in the sky, cutting apart that palm image. With a huge explosion, dust filled the sky. One figure flew out of the dust. That was Long Chen carrying the already exhausted Ye's Hikyu and Tang wan -er. Long Chen, give up. We aren't his match. He's too strong. Tang wan -er quietly advised him sadly. They had overestimated themselves and underestimated how terrifying their opponent was. She didn't want Long Chen to die because of some impossible mission. Long Chen gently put them down and smiled slightly. That slight smile immediately warmed their hearts. You two just watch from here. Leave the rest to me. Resting the saber on his shoulder, he slowly walked back to Gui Sha in front of everyone's horrified gazes. Chapter 173 Divine Ring Once More Shocks Translator Born to be one man and one saber. It was as if in within all of heaven and earth, there was only that one person's existence. That person's gaze was filled with disdain, looking down on all others. People blankly watched that figure. That scene was forever imprinted in their minds, something impossible to forget. Even once they were old seniors, they would still tell stories to their grandchildren about that domineering figure. GGG. Interesting. I can sense your anger, but I can't sense your fear. You really are an ignorant fool. Do you really think you are able to fight against me? Gui Sha laughed sinisterly. Old ghost, despite living for so long and proclaiming yourself as an expert, you don't even know what the source of a cultivator's strength is. Long Chen walked close to Gui Sha and stopped, standing there and mocking him. Then what do you say it is? Gui Sha sneered. He had already seen through the circumstances and was able to break out of this formation anytime he wished. But first he wanted to grab a protective talisman. That would be Long Chen. He was just waiting for an opportunity. Long Chen sneered. The greatest strength of a cultivator isn't their talent, willpower, not any techniques, but a will to protect. A cultivator can explode out with ten times his strength when facing death. But if you have something to protect in your heart, you can explode with ten times that strength. In other words, a hundred times the strength. That is because when us cultivators must protect our goal, protect what is important to us. We are able to give up anything, including our own lives. That is the power of a will to protect. Most people just blankly stared as he said that. But Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu came to a sudden enlightenment. As for Elder Tu Fang, he was delighted and finally understood why both Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu would revive their ancestral marks at the same time. For their companions' safety, their own lives became no longer important to themselves. That had already surpassed the realm of life and death to an even higher realm. Tu Fang sighed. Long Chen was not even a fraction of his age, but he already had such a profound understanding of cultivation. If he didn't die, he would definitely become a heaven-shaking expert. Unfortunately, divergents were doomed to have short lives. Only when you have something to protect can you push forward with all your strength. Only when you have something to protect can you possess a determination undeadered by death. Only when you have something to protect can your Dao heart become firm. Capable of bringing you through all the thistles and thorns on the cultivation path. Advancing bravely. As for you and human corrupt apprentices, you treat your fellow humans as cultivation tools. You will never be able to understand what it means to protect something. So what qualifications do you have to jeer at me? You are the one who is ignorant. I silly said Long Chen. That's just crap. Hypocritical pompous nonsense you fools like to repeat. On the path of cultivation who hasn't stepped on top of other people in order to climb higher? This is a world where the weak are prey to the strong, a survival of the fittest. None of you have the right to criticize us. If your reasoning really was correct, over these countless years, your righteous sects wouldn't have constantly been suppressed by our corrupt sects. The weak have no right to speak so grandly. An amateur who has just entered the cultivation world also dares talk big? That's truly laughable. Since you've said some crap about protecting, just bring out that power and show me what that trash is. I silly taunted Gui Sha. From ancient times till now, the righteous and corrupt paths had always opposed the other. The war between them had never stopped. 
They both thought their own paths and reasoning were correct while the other was wrong. So when Long Chen mentioned that, Ji Yui Sha also retorted as well. The most infuriating thing to him was was that Long Chen had tricked him into handing over the netherworld ghost steps, which was a blasphemy against his beliefs. With something to protect in the heart, the spirit always has somewhere to return. That is the source of a cultivator's strength. Since you want to see it, then I will show you. Boom. Long Chen's voice seemed to have come from above the heavens, shaking everyone's hearts. When he finished, a terrifying wave of ki crushed the land. A huge 300-meter ring of light appeared. When that ring of light appeared behind Long Chen, the world began to incessantly tremble. Intense rumbling came from the air as the air seemed to become an ocean with huge waves surging towards Long Chen. Terrifying energy released a powerful pressure. Some people had difficulty breathing, feeling as if they were being crushed by a huge mountain. What a powerful pressure. Tu Fang was shocked. The current Long Chen's strength had already far surpassed the blood condensation realm. That was completely inconceivable. Just what was the ring of light behind him? How did it manage to constantly absorb spiritual key from the world? Was it some kind of battle skill or part of a cultivation technique? Tang Wanner and Ye's Hiki were also shocked. Was that figure enveloped by that divine ring really the Long Chen they knew? Just the pressure from that light made it hard for them to breath. Was that the same glib tongued fellow from before? Guo Ran was standing amongst the crowd, looking at that figure with worship. His fists were tightly clenched. That was his unstoppable boss. All the elders looked at Long Chen with astonishment. But there was one of them who sunk into contemplation after that initial shock, a hint of greed appearing in his eyes. In order to protect those close to me, I have no fears. My heart is bright and a grand deo fills me. How could you evil demons possibly understand that? Receive my saber. Long Chen stepped forward, the saber in his hand growing as Saber Ki filled the sky. But in just an instant, all that Saber Ki condensed into one saber. Boom. That saber slashed down directly cutting a huge ditch into the ground hundreds of meters long. As for Ji Yui Sha, he was at the end of that ditch. A huge hole opened on his chest, but no blood flowed out. Looking at that long ditch, people were too terrified to speak. That kind of destructive strength was something they had never even dreamed about. Perhaps if it struck them, even a thousand lives wouldn't have been enough to survive that attack. That Long Chen was even more monstrous than the monsters. Lai Kian Chang and Qi Xin's expressions greatly changed and a feeling of intense jealousy filled them. They were also arrogant geniuses, and being suppressed like this caused them to be indignant and furious. Bastard, if this corpse wasn't such trash, I would be able to kill you with a single slap. Gui Sha angrily roared. He was an expert of the corrupt path with many great skills, but now all that remained of him was his soul. He was suppressed by the formation, and this corpse was not at all on the same level as him, causing him to fly into a rage. TCH. Who doesn't know how to boast? If I had also lived as long as you had, I could kill you with a single fart, sneered Long Chen. Tang Wanner and Ye's Hikyu exchanged a glance. It seemed the Long Chen they knew had returned. Bastard. Die. Ji Yui Sha charged at Long Chen, those strange lines once more lighting up his body, his devilish aura becoming even more terrifying. You aren't a person or a ghost anymore, but you still haven't died, so why should I? Long Chen slashed his saber on the coming Gui Sha. With those strange lines covering Gui Sha's body, the two of them once more began to fight. But people could clearly see some small things flying out while the two fought. What is that? It looks like that person's flesh. I understand now. Long Chen's strength was risen to the point where he can already break apart that corrupt corpse's defense. Suddenly exclaimed someone. Everyone carefully looked. And it was true. Holes had appeared in Gui Sha's fist. Those small things that were flying out were bits of his fist's flesh. That corrupt corpse had been soaked in a medicinal bath to become incredibly hard to the point where blades could not harm it. With the assistance of spiritual strength, its defense was incredibly sturdy. That was especially true since Gui Sha's soul had been training for over a thousand years. His spiritual strength was a boundless ocean which made the corrupt corpse's body even harder. But now he was already greatly exhausted. With Long Chen's increase in strength and his spiritual strength sharply dropping, his defense was no longer able to block Long Chen's attacks. Tang Wanner and Ye's Hikyu celebrated. That meant victory was near. Now that this opponent's spiritual strength had begun to run out, he was already unable to continue for much longer. They had all killed a corrupt corpse before and knew that this was a sign that victory was near. Although there had been many twists and turns, they had still succeeded in the end. Tu Fang nodded. 
he really was worthy of being a legendary divergent. Once he had a core disciples grooming in the Zhuangshan Monastery, he wouldn't just rise one or two levels, but perhaps all the way to the top. Not only was he excited, he also rejoiced in the fact that he had chosen to bring Long Chen to the Zhuangshan Monastery. Having given him that chance, he had also given a chance to the monastery. Was that perfect coincidence the will of the heavens? Wielding his saber, his saber key shook the heavens. With the support of his divine ring, he practically couldn't use up his spiritual key even if he tried. This place was the Zhuangshan Monastery, and the spiritual key was more than plenty here. As long as he didn't use his Feng Fu battle armor, he was more than capable of replenishing his energy. He wouldn't have to worry about running out of spiritual key for a while. So the longer it went, the more advantageous it would become for him. That was because Ji Yui Sha was exhausting his spiritual strength. Each bit he used would make him a bit weaker. He was unable to replenish his energy. Bang. Ji Yui Sha was forced back several steps by Long Chen's saber. At this point his fist was only bone. All the flesh having already been torn away. He had no method to replenish that much spiritual energy. Ji Yui Sha was truly in a desperate situation now. Netherworld devouring life. A black image appeared behind Ji Yui Sha. That image was one of a fiend's eye. When it appeared, Ji Yui Sha's aura immediately once more exploded out in greater strength, and it actually locked Long Chen in place. Long Chen shook, as he could sense Ji Yui Sha's strength had at least multiplied several times. But on the other hand, his spiritual strength was now quickly draining away even faster. That was definitely one of his final moves. By sacrificing a great deal of his spiritual strength, he could crazily increase his strength. That old fellow truly was too terrifying. Even as just a soul, he still possessed so many tricks. If he had been alive, he would definitely have been far too powerful. But when he arrived there in his thoughts, Long Chen became a bit regretful that he hadn't managed to steal more techniques from him. Only obtaining the Netherworld Ghost Steps truly was regretful. Yellow Springs Fist, a claw that was only made of bone charged at Long Chen. Long Chen took a deep breath. At this point, he had two choices. He could use the Feng Fu battle armor or he could use it. Raising his saber, he no longer reserved any energy from his Feng Fu star. His spiritual energy charged through nine acupuncture points and then finally inserted into his saber. The saber immediately began to emit a sharp sound and strange light appeared over it. The entire saber seemed to come to life. A ray of saber key soared in the sky, lighting up the battlefield. Split the heavens. Long Chen silently shouted inside, his saber slashing down. Chapter 174 Split the Heavens Destroys Mountains Dissipates Clouds Translator Born to be that Saber Key cut apart the sky, shaking everyone's hearts. In that moment, Long Chen looked like an absolute sovereign above the 10,000 Daos. Even those elders all stood up in shock. Long Chen's roar was like a god's as his saber slashed down on Ji Yui Sha. Ji Yui Sha was horrified. He had never expected Long Chen to possess such a terrifying battle skill. He could only use his full strength to block. Boom. Like a heavenly saber cutting apart a starry river. Rocks exploded out as the ground violently shook. Key waves surged into the sky. Then exploded out. Crap. Tu Fang's expression changed slightly. With a wave of his hand. A large incorporeal hand protected Tang Wan Er and Ye's Hikyu who were the closest. Careful everyone. Get down and raise your defenses. After protecting those two. Tu Fang shouted out a warning to everyone. Everyone began to circulate their key in order to protect their bodies, lying down on the ground. But there were some people who were a bit unconvinced about that. At this distance, wouldn't it just be a light aftermath? Did they need to be so careful? Boom. But when that storm finally unfurled, the people still remaining standing were dumbfounded as a terrifying hurricane that included countless crushed stones completely swallowed them. The sound of miserable cries and bones breaking immediately rang out. Those people splendidly demonstrated the principle that high trees that stand out will always be destroyed by the wind. When the storm finally passed, people crawled out of the dirt, their jaws dropping when they saw the scene in front of them. More and more people crawled out of the dirt, but each of their expressions were the same. As for Tang Wanner and Ye's Hikyu, when they climbed off the ground, they were completely unharmed, not even the slightest bit of dust on their bodies. A pair of transparent hands slowly dissipated. The two of them hadn't even had time to thank Tu Fang when their jaws dropped as well. A huge endless ditch had been dug into the ground, extending in one broken line past the horizon. The entire land had changed shape. The broken ground and random grit had almost drowned everyone. In front of that endless ditch was Long Chen leaning on his saber. 
He was gasping for breath, and not far from him was what remained of Ji Yui Sha. At this time, one of his arms and everything below his waist had disappeared. He was just standing there like a wooden stake. He won. Tang Wan'er was both delighted and shocked. Long Chen, cut off of his head. Then you'll be a core disciple. Now that half of Ji Yui Sha's body had already been destroyed, he was powerless to resist. If she and Ye's Hikia weren't already exhausted, they themselves would have rushed over there to cut off his head. Tu Fang smiled. Although at the beginning people might have thought he was giving Long Chen preferential treatment, the difficulty of this trial had already completely shut their mouths. Long Chen's strength was something no one could doubt. If even such a figure didn't obtain a core disciple position, that would be too regrettable. But it had truly been difficult for Tu Fang to give him that position. There were several times even he had thought they would fail. Long Chen took a deep breath. Dragging his saber, he walked over to Ji Yui Sha. It was time to reap his harvest. He, you want my, Ji Yui Sha's, had to exchange for a reward? Keep dreaming. Suddenly Ji Yui Sha raised his head to the sky and let out a long shriek. A berserk spiritual strength madly circulated in his body. Everyone was given a fright. Even in this state, he was still able to resist. Just what kind monster was that fellow? Long Chen was also greatly startled. Hastily shouted, Hey, wait, we still have some things to talk about, you damn bastard, I curse you, you won't have a good death, boom, after shouting out one last curse, Ji Yui Sha's entire body exploded, pieces of his flesh flew out, for a moment, everyone was just dumbfounded, that soul had been too powerful, even containing the strength to self-detonate at the end, wait, does this count, Long Chen was also dumbstruck, he had no head to exchange for a badge, he hastily ran over to where Ji Yui Sha had exploded to see if he could find anything exchangeable Noveloon.com Perhaps it was because Ji Yui Sha hated Long Chen too much and he would rather kill himself than let Long Chen obtain even the slightest bit of benefit from his body. But unfortunately for Long Chen, with the price of his soul, Ji Yui Sha's body had exploded completely. Even the largest piece of flesh he could find was only the size of a finger. Even if Long Chen had cut off his head just now, Ji Yui Sha wouldn't have died. His soul would be once more inserted into another corpse. There had been no need for him to die. A corrupt devil had actually decided to make such a decision. It was obvious how much he had hated Long Chen. Looking at those tiny pieces of flesh, Long Chen had an urge to try. He asked Tu Fang, Elder Tu Fang, can we count all these pieces together as a head? He knew it was impossible to even think about finding a full head. But once all those tiny pieces were cleaned up and added together, wouldn't they also be enough? Tu Fang was silent for a long time as he looked at Long Chen. Was this the fate of a divergent? He had clearly given him an opportunity. But how did that opportunity end up like this? He remembered the sect leader's warning. He was not to change Long Chen's fate. Now he finally was convinced that if he forced it and gave Long Chen a core disciple position, perhaps the entire monastery would be brought down by that karma. Sorry but I cannot do that. Tu Fang could only sigh. He greatly sympathized with Long Chen, but he didn't dare give him that kind of special treatment. The other elders also sighed. They thought about speaking out for him, but thinking of Tu Fang's incredibly strict nature, they still shook their heads in the end. Tu Fang's strict nature was something no one in the monastery did not know. Sometimes even sect leaders would show consideration for him. Hearing that, Long Chen's expression changed. He was just about to say something when Tu Fang cut him off. Don't be in a hurry. Although you didn't succeed, you also didn't fail. Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikia will retain their core disciple positions. But as for you, what about me? Hastily asked Long Chen. I can only follow the monastery's rules and give you an outer disciple spot. Even Tu Fang felt his face was scorching red. Doing this was such a waste of talent. Long Chen immediately relaxed. Although he was a bit regretful he hadn't obtained a core disciple spot, being an outer disciple was also fine. As long as he could stay in the monastery, there were still many opportunities for him, and it wasn't as if he had lost out much. He had at least tricked Ji Yui Sha into giving him the netherworld ghost steps. From how hatefully Ji Yui Sha had glared at him at that time, Long Chen knew it was incredibly precious. At this time he still hadn't had the time to train in it, but in any case, Obtaining such a powerful technique in exchange for a bit of danger had definitely been worth it. Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikia were both a bit disappointed. Long Chen had essentially already won, only to end up with such a conclusion. It really was regretful. But as for Lai Kai and Chang and Qi Xin, they let out a breath of air. 
their confidence that had been completely beaten by Long Chen gradually recovered. No matter how great a talent was, without any resources, it was like having no rice to cook and no water to drink. They would quickly shake him off. Long Chen, don't feel bad. Tang Wan'er walked up to him and consoled him. Long Chen laughed and shook his head. Do I look sad? If I got sad about something as small as this, I'd have long since died from depression. Hearing that, Tang Wan'er's heart shook. As she had suspected, Long Chen had already experienced many unusual things. Perhaps his great strength was also related to those experiences. Of the people present, only Tu Fang smiled slightly. He was the only one who knew how much oppression and humiliation Long Chen had experienced. Under great pressure, you would either have to explode out, or be completely extinguished. Long Chen had not been extinguished. He had already experienced so many difficulties and sadness. This little bit really was nothing to him. Brother, thank you. I'm sorry about your precious family sword. Long Chen handed the saber back to that big fellow apologetically. Only then did that person realize his huge saber was covered in thumb-sized chips. In fact it even looked like a saw now. Don't worry about it. For this saber to be able to release Brother Long's strength is its greatest honor. That big fellow respectfully received back his saber. He had already decided to hide away and treasure this saber, using it as evidence of his friendship with Long Chen. Later when Long Chen became a top expert, he could proudly take out that saber and boast to everyone. I am a true friend of Long Chen's. Look, he once asked to borrow my saber. Long Chen's trial had finally come to an end. He had failed to obtain a core disciple badge, receiving only an outer disciple consolation prize. But after that huge sight, everyone had risen him up to a monster class expert, and they even viewed him as a monster amongst monsters. Everyone returned to their factions. They were completely silent as Tu Fang walked to stand in front of them. Looking at them, Tu Fang said, First of all, Congratulations to you all. You have become disciples of the monastery. All of you will have access to the monastery's resources. However, as for how much you will get, that will be up to your strength and abilities. So remember, only after entering the monastery has your cultivation truly begun. That is because the monastery's resources all require a matching strength to obtain. He then turned to look at those registrants who had failed to pass the trials. Although you guys failed to join, you didn't come for nothing. Many of you should have obtained some things within the trial region, so you won't be returning empty-handed. Furthermore, the monastery will also give you a path. You can choose to stay here, but don't get too excited. You can cultivate in the monastery, but you will not receive the treatment of disciples. Each month you will only have scant resources given to you, and for that you will need to complete a great deal of work. In essence, you will only be workers. Hearing the end of what he said, the excitement of those who had failed completely disappeared. They were all powerful disciples of their families with many servants to wait on them. How was asking them to a worker any different than the humiliation of killing them? But there were also people who discarded their pride, deciding to become a true expert. That was because they had seen a vaster world after coming here, and they no longer wanted to be some spoiled prince. They wanted to become an expert, and if they had to be a worker first, they were fine with that. But such people were very few. Over 10,000 people left, leaving only over 50 of them. The others were all led somewhere else to be sent away from the monastery. Once that huge crowd left, all that remained were 700 people. Tu Fang waved his hand and the elders all placed their hands on the stone pillars. Everyone felt their bodies lighten and they disappeared from this place. Chapter 175 Immortal Cave Translator Born to be when they opened their eyes again and saw their new surroundings. They let out gasps as they saw this was practically a fairyland. This was a small mountain around 40 miles high. Lush trees filled the surroundings with fragrant grass covering all the ground. Standing at the peak of the mountain, they could see far and wide. The crashing of a waterfall and the trickling of water merged with the cries of unknown birds, bringing a thriving vitality to this picturesque scene. At the peak of the mountain where they were standing was a cave. The stones of the cave had been polished extremely bright, appearing very beautiful. Atop the cave were some huge lines. Long Chen could clearly sense those lines were slowly absorbing spiritual key into the cave. Okay, this will be your home now. This particular cave is the immortal cave of the core disciple. This cave has spirit gathering talismans which make the spiritual key inside extremely dense, reaching a level you can't even imagine. The other disciples' caves are down below. There are altogether 100 immortal caves, and you can set them up as you wish. This mountain is your territory. 
Think of a good name for your faction so that you can properly register it. You guys can rest for now. A healing team will come help you recover from your wounds in a bit, explained an elder. These people who had been transported here were all Tang Wan'er's faction. The others were nowhere to be seen. Most likely they were like them, sent to different places. But seeing the elder was about to leave, Long Chen hastily asked, Respected elder, please wait a moment. The elder paused slightly. What is it, elder? I want to ask you something. Where is the Skywood Palace? That was a question Long Chen had been holding back for an extremely long time. Tu Fang had said the Skywood Palace was separated by the Zhuanshan Monastery by just a mountain, extremely close, just a stone throws distance away. Now that he had joined the Zhuanshan Monastery, it should be time for him to go find an opportunity to see Chu Yao. He was extremely concerned about how she was. The Skywood Palace is behind the Skywood Mountain. What about it? Curiously responded the elder. Can elder please point to which mountain that is? When I have some free time, I want to go take a trip to the Skywood Palace, said Long Chen. Hearing what the elder said, he was relieved. At least Tu Fang and Hua Yu had not lied to him. At that time he had always felt the two of them were acting strange. Perhaps he had been overthinking it. What did you say? That elder looked at him with disbelief, not believing his own ears. Long Chen was startled, immediately getting a bad feeling. I want to cross Skywood Mountain to take a stroll to the other side. That elder shook his head and pointed to the distance. Can you see that? That is Skywood Mountain. Do you think you can stroll over it? Everyone followed that elder's finger to look, but there was something blocking their sight and they couldn't see far. Long Chen was first puzzled, then looking up into the sky. His jaw dropped. That was because high in the mountains, he saw a huge mountain range. That mountain range towered high in the clouds and the top of the mountains couldn't even be seen. Heavens, how is this mountain so large? Everyone also followed Long Chen's line of sight and let out startled cries. Let alone you. Even our sect leader wouldn't dare say he would stroll over the Skywood Mountain. Maybe you should rest a bit first, said the elder. Even the sect leader is unable to cross that mountain? Just how high is it? Long Chen was gobsmacked. No one knows how high it is. That's because no one has ever climbed to the top. It said the seventh generation sect leader wanted to challenge this mountain and climbed for seven days and seven nights, in the end being heavily injured by the astral winds high in the air and almost dying. From then on, no one else has dared try to climb it. Even a top-level sect leader was unable to climb that mountain. So I can only walk around it then. Helplessly said Long Chen the elder nodded. That's the only way. But this mountain range is extremely long. You would need to travel 180,000 kilometers to reach the end and then you would need to walk back. 180,000 kilometers. Has there been a mistake? What mountain was that long? He. I also thought that too in the beginning. But this mountain has a story behind it. According to legend, in ancient times, gods fought a fierce battle, destroying stars. One star fell to the land, creating a huge crater. The edges of that crater formed the Skywood Mountain. Due to the falling star landing at an angle, it left a long gulch behind. And that is why the Skywood Mountain is so long. That elder good-naturedly told them that story. Long Chen realized his intuition back then had been correct. Hua Yu and Tu Fang really had tricked him. It was true that it was just a mountain away. It was also technically a stone throws away. Of course, he wasn't some ancient god of legends that had thrown a star to form a huge mountain. How was he supposed to get over? Both of them had really duped him. Once that elder explained that story to him, he left. Tang Wan'er looked at the gloomy Long Chen and asked, What's wrong? Long Chen shook his head and sighed. I was duped by an old ghost. I, old ghosts really are sly. Tang Wan'er smiled slightly, thinking Long Chen was talking about Gui Sha. She thought he was still brooding about Gui Sha's self-detonation. She couldn't possibly realize that the old ghost he was talking about was the Zhuanshan Monastery's virtuous and important elder Tu Fang. He was incredibly depressed, but he also had nowhere to complain. He could only suffer in silence. Okay, everyone can go pick their own immortal caves. Seeing Long Chen was not focused, Tang Wan'er ordered everyone to go down and choose immortal caves for themselves. Other than the immortal cave at the peak of this mountain, all the other immortal caves were on the waist of the mountain. Currently everyone was still excited to see their own immortal caves. They all hurried down to find their new homes. Long Chen was also about to leave when he was pulled back by Tang Wan'er. Where are you going? I'm picking a nest for myself. Tang Wan'er laughed. Have you become dumb? Isn't there a perfect one right here? Long Chen looked at her in disbelief. 
Although I promised you I'd be your man, don't you think you're moving too fast? How about you give me some more time, you irritating fool? You really anger me to death, raged Tang Wan'er. This immortal cave is more than big enough for me, Sister King Yu, as well as you to cultivate together. Only then did Long Chen realize King Yu was still present, laughing at them. For some reason, whenever he faced King Yu, he would always feel closer to her as well as a bit constrained. He wasn't very clear just what that feeling was. Scoundrel, who knows what nonsense runs around in your head all day. We're going in. If you don't want to, you can leave. Tang Wan'er sniffed indignantly as she walked into the immortal cave. If Long Chen didn't follow her, perhaps she would hold a grudge against him for the rest of his life. He hastily followed King Yu. Tang Wan'er pressed a stone button beside the immortal cave and its stone door slowly opened. What dense spiritual key, Tang Wan'er acclaimed. This immortal cave was extremely spacious. There were four rooms as well as a large lounge. Within that lounge was a large praying mat almost 30 meters long. Around the praying mat were eight small, sparkling stones. Their spirit stones. How lavish. Tang Wan'er excitedly jumped when she saw those eight spirit stones. Tang Wan'er's background was extremely grand, allowing her to recognize spirit stones. But even her family would treat spirit stones as treasures and wouldn't bring them out for disciples to train with. That large praying mat was actually a formation that could absorb the spirit stone's spiritual key and assist people's cultivation. Outside there were the spirit gathering talismans absorbing heaven and earth spiritual key, while inside there was additional spiritual key from spirit stones. Cultivating in this room would allow you to advance by leaps and bounds. Even Tang Wan'er was unable to remain unperturbed in the face of all this. She was practically acting like a little girl who had been given a new doll to play with. Long Chen was also extremely moved. The Zhuangshan Monastery truly had its own grand style. Such a cultivation environment was too luxurious. Oh, there's water. Tang Wan'er noticed in the corner there was a stalactite in the corner that was dripping water. Below the stalactite was mostly filled pool of water. Dipping a cup inside and drinking a mouthful, she delightedly exclaimed, Long Chen, try this water. It's amazing. Long Chen received the cup and sipped a mouthful. A refreshing feeling penetrated all the way through to his heart. Seeing Long Chen use her the same cup she had just used. Tang Wan'er reddened. Wasn't that a bit too intimate? But seeing that he was completely focused on the taste, she sighed in relief. Long Chen nodded. This is spirit spring extract. It's extremely hard to obtain and has the effect of refreshing and calming the mind. If the Jade Butterfly Queen Bee Crystal was added into this spring water, the crystal's effect would increase even more. We really did profit this time. Jade Butterfly Queen Bee Crystal. Tang Wan'er curiously asked. Long Chen smiled and took out a fist-sized Queen Bee Crystal. He crushed it into pieces inside a bowl. Mixing the spring water with it, a dense sweet scent floated out. Pouring two cups of this new Queen Bee Honey. He handed them to the two of them. Try my handiwork. The two of them took the cups and lightly sipped. But as soon as they tasted that sweetness, they immediately began to gulp it down voraciously. That strong sweetness made them feel as if they were floating in the clouds. They also felt a bright freshness from it. Their previous excitement that had been disturbing their hearts was swept away, leaving them with a the heart as calm as water. This. Tang Wan'er looked at this cup, unable to even put her feelings into words. He. The Jade Butterfly Queen Bee Crystal can quickly dispel all distracting thoughts and let you enter a meditative state. With its assistance, our cultivation speed will double with half the effort, Long Chen said with satisfaction. Tang Wan'er and King Yu both exchanged a glance, shocked and delighted. It was at this time that a group of people came from outside. Chapter 176 Healing Hall Translator Born to be there were over 20 men and women who had come over. At the front was a woman in her 20s. She wore green robes and possessed a peaceful air. Long Chen, Tang Wan'er, and King Yu walked out of the immortal cave curiously, wondering why so many people would come over. That woman at the front looked at the three of them and asked, Which one of you is the core disciple? Tang Wan'er took a step forward. Me. That woman examined her and praised. Sister truly is an outstanding, fairy-like beauty. Furthermore your talent is also so high. It really makes people envious. I don't dare accept such praise. Can I ask what is sister here for? Probingly asked Tang Wan'er. Oh, I've forgotten to introduce us. We are the previous generation's disciples. Your fellow senior apprentice brothers and apprentice sisters. You can call me senior apprentice sister Kiyu. But we aren't the same as those previous senior disciples you've met before. We are all members of the healing hall and have come to examine and treat your bodies. Smiled Kiyu. 
Now Long Chen understood what that elder had meant when he said that there would be people coming over to help them heal their wounds. After experiencing such an intense fight, although they had all consumed medicinal pills to suppress their injuries, a full recovery would most likely require one or two months. That had been a life and death battle that had forced everyone to go all out. Some people had even used some self-destructive techniques in order to force their way through that final trial. It could be said that other than Long Chen, there was practically no one else here who wasn't wounded. It was just a question of how heavy those wounds were. Call all your people here. In front of your immortal cave is a stone pearl. If you just pat it gently, everyone will be notified, said Kiyu. Tang Wan'er saw the stone pearl next to her immortal cave's door. She lightly touched it. The stone pearl shivered once and began to emit a dark red glow. When the light faded, Long Chen saw a large disturbance at the waist of the mountain as everyone began to climb up to the peak. So it was actually a communication system. Long Chen secretly thought to himself that if he was ever bored at night and couldn't sleep, wouldn't it be interesting to tap it a couple times? Once everyone arrived, Tang Wan'er explained to everyone what these senior disciples had come here for, gladdening everyone. Long Chen was also curious just how useful this healing hall was. It couldn't possibly be the same as in the imperial capital where they just felt your pulse and gave you some prescription, right? Everyone line up properly one by one. The first person to go up was a pale-faced outer disciple. He had received extremely serious inner injuries. Although he had taken medicinal pills, they had only suppressed the injury. He would need time to slowly recover. One woman reached out a hand and placed it on his stomach. Long Chen immediately felt a powerful pure ki spread out. Long Chen's heart shook. That pure ki seemed familiar to him somehow. Suddenly he thought of it. Back in the capital, back when Chu Yao had caused that branch of earth spirit wood to blossom, hadn't it been exactly this kind of aura? That woman nodded. Your inner organs have received a great shock. Parts of them are even broken. You really must have been reckless. After saying that, in front of everyone's odd gazes, a vine slowly crawled out of her palm and wrapped around that person. Powerful pure key inserted itself into that person's body. That person's pale face gradually recovered. Even his damaged key and blood were greatly recovered. What a miraculous technique. Long Chen was astonished. With such a person present, what would they need healing medicinal pills for? Looking at their astonished expression, Ki Yu smiled. Our healing hall's disciples possess wood spirit essence. In other words, we are wood cultivators. We can store a great deal of wood spiritual key that can be used to heal others. But it's not as amazing as you all think. Our spiritual key is limited so we can't heal others indefinitely. As for the great effect you see before you, that is because your cultivation bases are still low so it does not exhaust as much spiritual key. Only then did people understand. But they were still profoundly shocked by this miraculous power. The world truly was too wondrous. If they hadn't come to the Zhuanshan Monastery, they still wouldn't know that there were cultivators like this. Thank you senior apprentice sister for your help. That person bowed down low to her. He was now essentially unable to sense anything wrong with his body. Even his missing key and blood had been mostly replenished. That filled him with gratitude towards her. At this time, the others also went up one by one to be healed. It went without saying that this kind of healing technique was extremely mystical. Not only did it heal outer and inner wounds, but that woman's spiritual key possessed such a powerful recovery force that it was comparable to spirit medicines. That woman healed over 10 people before switching out with someone else. That person also used wood spiritual key to heal people. Long Chen supposed that such a healing most likely used up a great deal of spiritual key, and so they had come as a group in order to heal them all. This junior apprentice sister, your face is pale while your key and blood have been exhausted. Let senior apprentice brother help you. A tall and handsome man walked over to Tang Wan'er with a gentle smile. Tang Wan'er looked at him and shook her head. Thank you senior apprentice brother for your kind intentions. But I want to ask senior apprentice sister Ki Yu to help heal me. That man paused. An irritated look appearing on his face. Being refused by others was annoying to anyone. But he still smiled. That's also fine. Junior apprentice sister Ki Yu's healing techniques are famously excellent. Novaloon.com but Long Chen could hear that he wasn't praising Ki Yu, but pointing out that he was Ki Yu's senior. Tang Wan'er only nodded and walked up to Ki Yu. Thank you for your trouble senior apprentice sister Ki Yu she had experienced two consecutive battles that had caused her to use up everything. She was extremely weak now. She also wanted to experience the mystical ability of wood cultivators. Ki Yu smiled slightly and placed a hand on Tang Wan'er's shoulder. 
her spiritual key gently entering her body. You, you've awakened your ancestral mark. Ki Yu looked at her with shock. Tang Wan Er nodded, stealthily glancing at Long Chen. The main reason she had managed to awaken her ancestral mark was because of him. Before coming to the monastery, her family had set up a couple desperate straits for her to fall into in order to place some pressure on her. But she had been unable to awaken her ancestral mark like that. But then in order to help Long Chen, she and Ye's Hikiu had both faced death, finally awakening their ancestral marks. At that time, neither of them had realized that. Only once they had begun recuperating had they noticed that the runic imprint in their blood vessels had become much clearer. That had caused them to go crazy with joy. Awakening the ancestral mark meant their future cultivation paths would be a wide and flat path. They had opened the first door to their future cultivation. Junior sister really is amazing. Praised Kiyu. Her spiritual key began to emit a powerful life energy as it flowed into her body, causing her to feel very comfortable. Tang Wan Er could sense those internal injuries in her body were slowly healing. Ki Yu's spiritual key flowed throughout her entire body, healing every nook and cranny. Even hidden injuries were unable to escape from that powerful spiritual key and were beginning to heal. But unlike others, as she was being healed, more and more hidden injuries began to be discovered within her body. Even someone as powerful as Ki Yu had to put in some extra effort and increase her spiritual key. When Ki Yu began to use her full strength, her powerful spiritual key grew even stronger. A faint layer of light appeared over the two of their bodies. Tang Wan Er was already a beauty capable of causing the downfall of an empire. Adding on that faint light, she really did become a heavenly fairy. That man who had offered to heal Tang Wan Er was filled with adoration. There were incredibly few people who could resist her beauty. Long Chen involuntarily felt some disgust when he saw that man's expression. If you liked someone, you should pursue them openly and naturally. But he made himself up as if he was a proud rooster, trying to rely on his pretty feathers to attract others. If you wanted to be proud then stay proud. Don't immediately reveal a sleazy pig head as soon as that person stops looking at you. Long Chen most despised people like this. And for some reason, when he looked at this fellow he felt his mood turn sour. But he wouldn't foolishly go provoke him. After all, he had come to heal everyone. The process of healing Tang Wan Er's injuries was extremely slow. Everyone else had basically already been healed. Even King Yu had been examined. But she hadn't had any injuries. When a woman came up to Long Chen to heal him, Long Chen had been about to decline because he knew he wasn't injured at all. Furthermore, if he let someone else's spiritual key enter his body, that would reveal the secret that he had no spirit root in his dantian. He didn't want to become someone gossiped about behind his back. But before he could even decline, that senior apprentice brother blocked her from healing him. Long Chen was startled. That senior apprentice brother only icily glanced at Long Chen, not explaining anything. Long Chen was curious, but that was also fine. Now he had no need to personally decline it. He returned his focus back to Tang Wan Er. Wu, Ki Yu sighed, shaking her head. You really are worthy of being a core disciple who has awoken your ancestral mark. To heal your injuries ended up using up half of my spiritual key. Those disciples who had come with Ki Yu were shocked. Ki Yu was very well known by them. Other than that senior apprentice brother, she was the most powerful of them all. But healing a blood condensation disciple had used up half her spiritual key. That was practically inconceivable. They were all wood cultivators who knew that the stronger someone was, the more spiritual key it would require to heal them. It appeared this fairy-like maiden was definitely a terrifying expert. Senior sister has gone to a great deal of trouble. Please wait a moment. Tang Wan Er could feel her entire body was relaxed without the slightest injury, filling her with gratefulness towards Ki Yu. She ran back into her immortal cave and came out with a cup of Queen Bee Crystal. Haha, <laughs> what a smart junior sister. Thank you oh. This is Jade Butterfly Queen Bee Honey? No, the Queen Bee Honey wouldn't have crystallized. This is Queen Bee Crystal. Ki Yu was startled when she recognized this treasure. Tang Wan Er smiled slightly. Junior sister's luck was good and managed to obtain a piece through luck. Quickly drink it senior sister. It'll solidify again soon. Long Chen's mouth twitched. She had once more taken out his things to give to others. But this girl was still alright. Keeping it low key. Junior apprentice brother. I can see your body is injured. Let senior apprentice brother give you a checkup. You should know that I rarely ever offer my healing services to just anyone. That man smiled and walked up to Long Chen. Chapter 177 Can you not heal yourself translator? Born to be I don't need you to heal me. I'm fine. 
Long Chen shook his head. He immediately understood the senior apprentice brother was planning something against him. Trust your senior apprentice brother's eyesight. If I say there's something wrong with your body, there's definitely something wrong. Don't fail to appreciate my kindness. I, Lu Chuan, am not someone who will randomly heal anyone. I silly said Lu Chuan. Lu Chuan's words startled everyone, especially Tang Wan'er's people. Wasn't this clearly bullying? Originally they were filled with gratefulness for all these senior disciples coming to heal them. But hearing this, they no longer felt any respect for the senior apprentice brother Lu Chuan. Senior apprentice brother Lu Chuan, I don't sense anything wrong with this junior's body. Now that we've finished our mission, we should return. Obviously Qi Yu had also seen through Lu Chuan's intentions. Qi Yu was giving Lu Chuan a chance to back down. But Lu Chuan shook his head. When it comes to experience. I joined the sect a month earlier than you. So junior apprentice sister, trust your senior apprentice brother's eyesight. I will kindly heal him. For you to not trust me really is hurtful. Junior apprentice brother, come. Don't make things hard for your senior apprentice brother. It wouldn't be good for me to have to forcibly subdue you. Long Chen took a deep breath. If he still didn't understand Lu Chuan's intention, he really wouldn't be Long Chen. This bastard wants to show off his abilities here. Most likely in order to ah Tang Wan or retrieving the face he lost just now. If you want to show off then show off. But for you to place your intentions on me. Long Chen was already extremely irritated. It'd be best for you to not force me. Long Chen indifferently said to Lu Chuan. Tang Wan -er's people were all shocked. As soon as Long Chen's expression became like this. That often meant he had truly become angry. Refusing medical treatment is not a good thing. If you're sick then you must get treated. If not. It will be difficult to treat in the future. Lu Chuan icily glared at him. Does your brain have a problem for you to try to show off your senior status in order to attract a woman? It seems you not only have a mental illness, your eyes must also be diseased. Or perhaps you really are blind. Do I look that easy to bully to you? Icily snorted Long Chen. Are you trying to provoke me? Lu Chuan's expression sunk. He began to raise his hands. Stop. Ki Yu was about to go out to stop him. But Tang wan -er pulled her back. Let them. For some reason she also found Lu Chuan extremely distasteful. Although he was a senior disciple. She felt Long Chen wouldn't be much inferior to him. At the very least he wouldn't lose out. She understood Long Chen's temperament. That fellow was able to accept anything except loss. It was better to just let him go out. No. I wouldn't provoke an idiot like you. Snidely corrected Long Chen. Shaking his head. One. Bastard. A rattan vine appeared in Lu Chuan's hands and he attacked Long Chen. Long Chen sneered and grabbed the vine directly. Lu Chuan had obviously underestimated Long Chen's strength. Long Chen pulled, bringing Lu Chuan flying into him. P.O.W. Long Chen's hand viciously slapped Lu Chuan on the face, sending him flying back. Tang Wan'er's people were still not that shocked, but Ki Yu's group were flabbergasted, watching the scene with disbelief. In their group. Ki Yu might be the leader of their group and was number one in terms of healing and recovery, but when it came to combat strength, Lu Chuan was superior, and so despite the fact that Lu Chuan was technically Ki Yu's subordinate, he would often mess with her. Ki Yu also had no way to handle that and so she could only endure. That gave her a constant headache, as her prestige as being their team leader would only grow weaker. Luckily the rest of her group had an understanding of her and supported her greatly, although none of them liked Lu Chuan. When it came to cultivation base and strength, Lu Chuan was the most powerful amongst them. But even such a tendon transformation expert was sent flying with a single slap as soon as he attacked. Lu Chuan flew back dozens of meters, miserably crashing on the ground. When he once more got up, there was a very clear handprint on his face. Feeling that hot pain on his face as well as seeing everyone's peculiar expressions, Lu Chuan immediately became infuriated. Fucker. Lu Chuan roared and a wooden spear appeared in his hand. Although it looked to be made of wood, there were lines covering the entire spear that released a terrifying pressure. That sharp aura caused people to shiver. That was a weapon that was even harder than steel. His aura exploded as he stabbed his spear at Long Chen. Terrifying Qi rumbled, shaking people's eardrums. That spear shot straight at Long Chen's stomach. He was incredibly vicious, actually wanting to take Long Chen's life. Furthermore it was so fast that no one was able to react before that spear stabbed through Long Chen. Long Chen. Tang Wan Er let out a startled cry. Her face pale. But she then suddenly noticed Long Chen who had been pierced through by that spear actually disappeared. After image. Lu Chuan immediately had a bad feeling. Bang. 
Another hand viciously slapped across his face, the explosive energy once more sending him flying. It was the exact same angle and attack as the previous one, but this time the distance he flew back was no longer the same. He no longer flew in an arc. This time he was blown back so hard he was flying in a straight line. Lu Chuan smashed into the stone wall behind him, causing a loud boom that caused everyone to cringe. But the stone wall was extremely sturdy and he simply splatted against it. He vomited out blood. Inside that vomit were also a couple teeth. Seeing that there was still some flesh on those teeth, people shivered. Everyone looked at Long Chen as if he were a monster. Was he really a newly accepted disciple? He was far too strong. How was this even a battle? It was more like beating a child. Boss is mighty. A cry came out from the crowd. Guo Ran had been frightened greatly when he saw that spear stab through Long Chen. But now he finally had a chance to cheer for Long Chen. Lu Chuan's face had another large handprint that was on the other side of his face now. Practically symmetrical. But one side had swollen up much more than the other. Causing him to look like a freak. Didn't you want to show off your great strength and your exquisite healing skills? Now you have a chance. Long Chen icily said to Lu Chuan. Now that he said that, Guo Ran and the others finally understood why Lu Chuan would force Long Chen like this. So he had been planning on using him to display his own abilities. Then remembering how he had taken action to try healing Tang Wan'er's wounds, everyone finally came to a sudden realization. If you really needed someone to make an example out of, there were many possible candidates. For him to choose Long Chen, was he tired of living? Long Chen's ridiculous combat strength had already surpassed the monster class. Even those elders were all shocked by him. Furthermore, with Long Chen and Tang Wan'er's relationship, to use Long Chen as an example to obtain Tang Wan'er, he must really have a mental illness or be blind. Had he not seen how close the two of them stood? Everyone was deathly silent. Lu Chuan was already completely dazed, only recovering after a long time. Then sensing the painful heat coming from his face, he glared at Long Chen, his eyes spitting flames. Hey, I waited forever for you. Are you still putting on a show or not? Can you not heal yourself? You can't put on your show, Long Chen impatiently said. Hundred vine trap, Lu Chuan roared. Suddenly countless vines charged out of his hands at Long Chen like hundreds of slithering snakes. That had happened so quickly that no one had even realized what had happened before Long Chen was completely ensnared by those vines. He was completely caught with only his head exposed at the top. Tang Wan'er and the others had never seen such a bizarre technique. Blankly staring at Lu Chuan's hands. Those vines had flown out from Lu Chuan's flesh. This was the first time any of them had seen a wood cultivator's techniques. So they were all shocked. To use one's own flesh to give birth to rattan vines was odder than any other kind of ability they had seen. Those vines had come out from Lu Chuan's body and were controlled by him like his own fingers. That kind of ability had surpassed anyone's expectations. Now you can shut up you bastard. Lu Chuan sinisterly glared at Long Chen. The vines then began to slowly tighten even more, wanting to crush Long Chen within. Long Chen indifferently examined those vines. Why do I need to shut up? It's not like my teeth have already fallen out and all that remains in my mouth is a bunch of crap. Everyone was startled. Despite being completely trapped, Long Chen was still able to say such things. Was he not afraid of paying for his actions? Tang Wan'er had been worried at first when she saw Long Chen trapped, but then she thought of something and relaxed, actually laughing inside. Your mouth really is vicious, but I want to see just how vicious it'll be later. Lu Chuan snorted, urging his vines to tighten to the limit. But Long Chen's expression was still completely indifferent with just a touch of ridicule as he looked at Lu Chuan. He didn't say a single word, acting as if he were just watching a monkey perform. Lu Chuan's expression gradually grew uglier. Those handprints on his face had now become even clearer. It was almost possible to see even his palm lines. I don't believe I can't crush you to death. Lu Chuan roared and his whole body's key surged out. His spiritual key poured into those vines. Everyone could see those vines grow even thicker, but no matter how he strengthened those vines, it seemed as if they had reached some sort of limit and were unable to tighten any further. Lu Chuan was completely astonished. These vines had all been formed from his core energy. Their toughness was even greater than steel rope, let alone flesh. Even steel would have been crushed. But Long Chen's expression was completely composed. That meant that Long Chen's physical body had already reached an inconceivable level. Have you finished playing? Can you take back your useless little strings? Long Chen asked the astonished Lu Chuan. Lu Chuan immediately reacted and put away his astonished expression, coldly snorting. 
Do you think that I'm helpless now? You're too immature. I'll whip your face into mush. Another vine the thickness of a thumb grew out of his palm. He raised that vine high into the air as if it was a whip and thrashed it down on Long Chen's face. Chapter 178 Let me treat your illness translator. Born to be that vine was turned into a whip that lashed at Long Chen's face. Long Chen coldly snorted. Your illness really is too severe. Fine. I'll help you treat it. He closed his eyes. When he once more opened them, he let out a thunderous cry. Pill blaze. Boom Novaloon.com terrifying flame soared out, engulfing the area dozens of meters around him. That intense temperature roasted the air. A-H-H-H. When those flames appeared, a miserable scream came from Lu Chuan. A cry so mournful it caused people's hair to stand on end. Everyone from the healing hall was greatly shaken. They looked at the flame-covered Long Chen with terror. Some of them couldn't help taking a couple steps back. They had an innate fear towards fire. That was their natural enemy, their bane. Tang Wan'er extended a hand and severed the vines that were being burned. Only then did Lu Chuan's miserable shrieks end. She knew those vines were formed from Lu Chuan's core energy. However, they were not the same as her wind blades. Those vines were connected directly to Lu Chuan's mind and spirit. That was how he was able to control them so nimbly. When those vines received an attack, his spirit would also suffer the same impact. Wood cultivators did not specialize in fighting, but in supporting. Their strength lay in their pure life energy that could quickly heal people's injuries. So despite Lu Chuan being a senior apprentice brother, he was not at all on the same level as those tendon transformation senior apprentice brothers who specialized in fighting. But Lu Chuan had still thought that even if his strength wasn't great, it should still have been no problem to suppress the rookies who had just joined the sect. The result of course was this. Because his vines had been wrapped too tightly and bound to each other in layers, he was unable to withdraw his vines after Long Chen had released his flame. Having those vines being burned by that flame made him feel as if his soul was on fire. That kind of pain was something unenderable. If Tang Wan'er hadn't severed those vines when she had and Lu Chuan had continued to feel that pain of having his soul burning, his soul would have ended up almost permanently injured. Tang Wan'er didn't want to see Long Chen ending up committing such a crime. The flames surrounding Long Chen's body faded away. Shrugging, those vines that had been tightly coiling around his body had all been burnt to crisp and now collapsed to the ground. Shaking out his body, Long Chen looked at the astonished Qi Yu and laughed. Many thanks Sizer Ki Yu for coming here to heal our injuries. Would you like to come in and have a sit? Perhaps drink some tea? Oh, no. We still need to return and report that we finished our mission. If I have a chance then I'll come back to disturb you all. Goodbye. Ki Yu brought everyone away. As for Lu Chuan, his face was pale as paper and he was already completely dazed. That was because of the pain from his soul. Brat, you better wait for me. Lu Chuan ground his teeth and gave one final shout to Long Chen before descending down the mountain with everyone. However he no longer had his bossy air as he had before. Now he seemed more like a stray dog. Boss, you're too amazing. Guo Ran walked up and gave Long Chen a thumbs up. However boss, I feel like you really do stir up trouble all the time. Wherever you go, there's always people who end up looking unfavorably upon you. Tang Wan'er laughed. I think the same. Haha. <laughs> Seeing everyone looking at him oddly, Long Chen felt extremely embarrassed. That doesn't matter. Everyone can disperse now. According to the elder's explanation, we have three days resting time. Three days later, everyone remember to report to the monastery plaza. We don't have to gather together at that time. Just go over by yourself and you'll be fine. If you can't restrain yourself, you can go explore the surroundings. But don't get lost. After sending everyone away, all that remained were him. Tang Wan'er, and King Yu. King Yu worriedly looked at Long Chen. Long Chen, if you continue like this, it won't be advantageous for you in the future. Restraining yourself a bit isn't always a bad thing. King Yu worried about Long Chen's temperament that didn't fear heaven or earth. Sooner or later he would end up running into a steel nail. After all, there were many experts within the monastery. Sister King Yu, I understand. Next time I encounter such a thing, I'll definitely restrain myself promised Long Chen with a smile. But inside he said, but if I can't endure, don't blame me. Long Chen also wanted to be a bit more low-key, wishing to peacefully cultivate. But there were always so many fools who found trouble for him. He also wanted to just endure it all and let it go. But within his mind was another will which refused to accept any loss. Sometimes Long Chen felt as if he had two selves. Had the pill god memories fused into him or had the pill god soul taken over his body? As he cultivated in the nine-star hegemon body art, 
that will became more and more intense, that will was one that would bravely charge forward, not looking back even in death. Taking the previous situation as an example, Long Chen had definitely possessed many ways to avoid it. Perhaps he could have revealed his own pill blaze ahead of time to scare Lu Chu in a way, but he didn't know why, but he had chosen to use the most direct method of fighting to resolve this. Furthermore, after that, there had been some hidden pleasure within him, that caused him to not know whether to laugh or cry. One or, you should learn a bit from Long Chen. Look, he understands he made an error and accepts it, but look at you. I say a couple things and you start to retort. When will you begin to grow up a bit? King Yu sighed worriedly. Tang Wan Er looked at Long Chen who was now acting like an obedient child. Her sister King Yu had clearly been duped by that scoundrel. She viciously cut at Long Chen with her eyes. Over the next few days, Long Chen was dragged by Tang Wan Er all over their mountain. They could only stay within this area during this time. If they were to rashly leave, perhaps that would violate some random rule of the monastery which would be troublesome. The other disciples also explored as well. Everyone was extremely curious about every tree and grass around here. Tang Wan Er and Long Chen were strolling down a small path, looking at the rare flowers and grass in the surroundings. Tang Wan Er emotionally sighed. After so many years of hardships, I finally entered the Zhuanchen Monastery. This place really is wonderland. He, not to pour cold water over your enthusiasm, but this is them giving you a little candy after giving you a slap. After this candy, another slap is about to come. We should make our preparations, laughed Long Chen. Tang Wan Er also laughed with an indescribable beauty. Long Chen, how come you never act your age? Your words are always so experienced. Long Chen sighed. Perhaps it was from being infected by that old ghost within that cave. His current disposition was completely related to what he had experienced. He also felt he hadn't managed to live his own youth before directly stepping into adulthood. He never had any things in common to talk about with these companions of his who were around the same age as him. Sometimes even he would feel extremely lonesome inside. So that was why Long Chen would usually just joke around with people like Tang Wan or only rarely saying what he actually thought. Most of them were simply not on the same level of thinking as him. Now that you mention, didn't that corrupt corpse say you had tricked him? How did you trick him? Why did he hate you so much? Curiously asked Tang Wan Er. To cause a corrupt expert soul to become so furious, Long Chen really was capable. Perhaps his mouth was even able to anger a corpse back to life. Perhaps I failed to live up to his love, said Long Chen with a complicated expression, seeming to recall memories of love. Ugh, your nonsense is nauseating. Tang Wan Er glared at him. He was even able to say such a disgusting thing out loud. What? What are you thinking? I'm simply saying that when he saw such a great genius like me, he wanted to take me as an apprentice, disdainfully said Long Chen. Tang Wan Er reddened slightly, but she quickly retorted, Yeah, I believe it when you put it like that. Oh, most of what you do has no righteousness in it, so that old ghost definitely picked the right person to take as his apprentice, said Tang Wan Er. Long Chen looked at the laughing expression in her eyes and immediately understood she was mocking him. He wanted to retort, but even after a long pause, he was unable to find a suitable line. Was he really suited to join a corrupt sect? Seeing Long Chen just blankly staring at her speechless, Tang Wan Er laughed. It seemed that this was the first time she had come ahead of him in terms of verbal jousting since she had met him. Back in my Tang family, I was the number one person in my generation and had the highest status. So all seniors in my family would pamper me greatly. At that time I was very headstrong and liked to, to be annoying. What are you talking about? Even now you like to be annoying. Long Chen shook his head. Rascal, don't interrupt me. Tang Wan Er hit Long Chen in anger before continuing. As I gradually grew up in my family, I started to realize in their love and pampering for me, they had given me far too much blood and sweat. That was because they hoped I would one day revive the ancestral mark, awakening the bloodline, and revitalizing the Tang family. From that moment on, I felt a huge pressure on myself. Even without the elders telling me to, I would bitterly cultivate. After I entered the blood condensation realm, my family purposely set up a couple assassins in order to force me into despair, hoping I could revive the ancestral mark during a life and death moment, but it failed. If the first time fails, then later on the probability decreases even more. After seven times, I still failed to revive the ancestral mark. Although none of them said anything, I know how disappointed they were. I, Tang Wan Er was unable to continue any further, hugging Long Chen and sobbing. Long Chen was shocked. 
not daring to move even a single muscle, feeling her soft and beautiful body, smelling that faint fragrance. He felt as if he were floating. After crying for a while, Tang Wan'er finally came to herself and hastily released Long Chen. She turned her head and wiped away her tears, her face already as red as an apple, her heart pounding like a drum. Chapter 179 Heaven Earth Faction Translator Born to be the both of them were completely silent for a while, the atmosphere between them captivating as well as tense. Tang Wan'er's heart pounded. How come this scoundrel was so talkative normally but was silent now? You, why aren't you talking? Tang Wan'er finally found the courage to break the silence, but she didn't have the courage to turn back to face him. I'm still thinking, said Long Chen, but as soon as he said it, he regretted it, wishing to give himself a slap on the face. You, Tang Wan'er glared at him, her tears slowly flowing. She thought Long Chen was mocking her. No, I have no intention of laughing at you. Everyone has some bitterness suppressed in their hearts, but at the very least you had a complete childhood, quietly said Long Chen. She saw that when he said that, there was a bit of sadness within his eyes, as well as a feeling of being lost, that caused her heart to shake. This kind of emotion rarely ever surfaced on Long Chen's face. Tang Wan'er wiped away her tears and asked, Long Chen, can I hear about your past? Note, Long Chen shook his head. TCH, Petty, I told you about me, so you have to tell me, demanded Tang Wan'er. Long Chen rolled his eyes, it's not like I asked you to tell me, even so. Since you heard it, you must tell me about yourself too. She stood in front of Long Chen, her posture saying that she wouldn't let him leave before telling her. Long Chen smiled slightly and his heart warmed inside. Thank you. Tang Wan'er's heart pounded faster when she saw Long Chen looking at her so gently, not daring to meet his gaze. She asked, why are you thanking me? Thank you for treating me as a friend. You're asking this to understand me more. Fine. I also had a couple friends by my side. However I had to abandon them. Long Chen's quiet voice was heavy. Shi Fang, Fatty Yu, Shi Hao, and all the others images surfaced in his mind. Perhaps he would never be able to have another chance at another great feast and drunk fest like what they had had before he had left. Why did you have to abandon them? Curiously asked Tang Wan'er. Let's chat while walking. Long Chen and Tang Wan'er slowly strolled as he quietly told her about his youth. You had a complete childhood, but I only had half a childhood. He told her about everything from his childhood. Perhaps he had repressed his emotions for too long and finally needed to release them. But he told her all about how he had been constantly bullied. How he had narrowly escaped from death several times. Telling her everything. Only keeping the pill god memory secret. Tang Wan'er had never imagined Long Chen had experienced so much misery and pain. No wonder she always felt his intelligence was far greater than others. That had been forced. If Long Chen hadn't gained that intelligence that surpassed others, he would have already died under someone else's schemes. Compared to Long Chen, she had had an absolutely delightful youth. As Long Chen told her about his own misfortune, she couldn't help feeling ashamed. It was as if an emperor was complaining to beggar about how his meat didn't taste good and wasn't refined enough for him. Long Chen, don't you feel wronged to have to experience so much? Asked Tang Wan'er. Of course I feel wronged but I haven't found a suitable shoulder to cry on. Long Chen glanced at Tang Wan'er's shoulder. She jumped, hastily taking a step back, guardedly saying, don't mess around. How is that messing around? Didn't you cry while hugging me just now? Now it should be switched around. Tang Wan'er's face immediately turned red. She evasively said, that's not the same. I'm a woman. Long Chen mumbled, petty, before finding a clean boulder to sit on, looking into the distance. Who knew what he was thinking of? Seeing Long Chen didn't forcibly complain about it, Tang Wan'er relaxed. She also sat next to Long Chen. Now that you've joined the monastery, what are your plans? She asked. Eat plenty, drink plenty, play plenty, and become a completely new and improved scoundrel, laughed Long Chen. Ugh, I'm serious here, Tang Wan'er reviewed. It's just like you said, our peaceful comfort is only temporary. A cruel competition is about to start again. What kind of competition? asked Long Chen. It's still unknown. For each generation they have a somewhat different competition, but it will always be very intense. We should make our own preparations. Otherwise if we can't grab enough resources, our faction's strength will fall far behind the other factions. Worriedly said Tang Wan'er no way right? With us two here, it can be said that we are the strongest of all five factions. How could we fall behind? asked Long Chen. Tang Wan'er explained. Although I don't know why you are so strong. 
I can guess it definitely has to do with your cultivation technique. The stronger the cultivation method, the slower you will advance levels. I've known you for this long, but you still haven't broken through to the late blood condensation realm. That says everything. All of us are essentially at the peak of blood condensation. We're just waiting for the trial rewards to use 10,000 beast essence blood for our final blood condensation. Then we'll all directly advance to the tendon transformation realm. At that time, your superiority will completely vanish. Only now did Long Chen realize that problem. Currently amongst this group of geniuses, he could be considered a hegemon. But once everyone entered the tendon transformation realm, let alone the monster class geniuses, even those ordinary inner disciples wouldn't be much inferior to him in combat strength. Furthermore, there aren't only five new factions in the monastery. Oh, the Zhuanshan monastery is not the same as other sects. Their disciple selection is split across different areas. They are split into the eastern, western, southern, northern, and central areas. We are in the central area. We still don't know how many core disciples are going to come from the other four areas. So the competition will definitely be extremely intense, explained Tang Wanur. This time she really did give Long Chen a fright. Just the 30,000 people he had seen at the beginning of the trial had been shocking enough. He really would never have guessed that there had been five such places undergoing the trial at the same time. The Zhuanshan Monastery's power sphere was far too large. So you especially should cultivate as fast as possible. Otherwise your superiority will quickly disappear. Fortunately. Now that I and sisters Hikyu have revived our ancestral marks, our bloodline strength is beginning to awaken. The runic power within our bloodline is becoming stronger every single day. So like Kian Chang and the others aren't on the same level as us anymore. But if they had too many people work together, we still wouldn't be able to defeat Chiringtham alone. The situation isn't very optimistic, said Tang Wanur. Long Chen sighed bitterly. He also wanted to cultivate a bit faster. But as his cultivation base rose and his physical body grew stronger, the speed at which he advanced became increasingly slow. It had already been a month, but his blood essence had yet to completely reach saturation. He had no way to undergo the next blood purification and enter the seventh heaven stage. He recalled how difficult it had been for him to break through within the key condensation realm. Now as soon as he reached the mid-blood condensation realm, his speed had slowed down greatly. Long Chen had a premonition that the difficulty in breaking through to tendon transformation wouldn't be any less than when he had broken through to blood condensation. But he was also helpless about that. The technique known as the nine-star hegemon body art was incredibly profound. He had only seen the tip of the iceberg. He had no idea how to increase his cultivation speed. According to Long Chen's estimations, if he could condense the second star, the alien star, then with both stars superposition, it would be possible to increase his cultivation speed. But to condense the Aleph star required him to refine the Aleph pill. He had yet to gather many of the Aleph pill's required ingredients. He could only take it one step at a time. But Long Chen wasn't particularly worried about that yet. That was because he still had a trump card. That would be the flame salamander's needon he had found on the way here. As long as he absorbed the flame salamander's needon. He would be able to use the existence that was ranked 97th on the Beast Flame rankings. If Long Chen could control that Beast Flame, then with his powerful spiritual strength, his combat strength would once more reach a new level. For now, he would have to put aside the matter of seeing Chu Yao. It was more urgent for him to quickly increase his strength. In Long Chen's mind, there were two things he needed to do. First was to gather the ingredients to absorb the Nidan. That was a bit more simple. He was fully confident those ingredients could be gathered within the monastery. But the other thing he needed to do was gather the medicinal ingredients required for the Aleph pill. That was more difficult. But it was also absolutely necessary. He would have to gather as much as he could. The main problem with that which caused Long Chen some panic was that to condense the Aleph star. He would require a huge number of Aleph pills. One or two pills was absolutely nothing. Completely unable to completely condense it. Thinking back to how he had used up over a thousand Feng Fu pills for the first Feng Fu star, he knew he would require an accordingly terrifying number of Aleph pills. You don't need to be too worried. With me and sisters Hikyu here, there won't be any problems for a short time. So you also don't need to feel that much pressure. Consoled Tang Wanner when she saw Long Chen just pondering and muttering to himself. At the same time, she also felt a bit embarrassed. She was the head of their faction. But she had placed the pressure onto him. She couldn't shift the responsibility and duty like that. 
Originally that pressure should have been hers, but she had a trust and dependence on Long Chen that even she didn't completely understand, and so she hoped Long Chen could help her. Right, what name should we call our faction? Tang Wanner purposely changed the subject. Peak Tang Gate. Novaloon.com no, that name's too unbridled. And Tang Gate sounds like it's my family's. Something else. Tang Wanner shook her head, clearly not liking that flamboyant name. Black Dragon Group. Long Chen gave another suggestion. No, that makes us sounds like a gang of hooligans. It's not elegant enough. Then let's just call it the Peak Tang Black Dragon Group. Ugh, this is not a joke. Be a bit more serious. Why had Tang Wanner even worried about him feeling too much pressure? This scoundrel fundamentally didn't even know what it meant to feel pressure. The two of them discussed it for a while, finally coming up with a both domineering and resounding name just before the sun set. Heaven Earth Faction. Thus Tang Wanner became the Heaven Earth Faction's leader. No one yet knew that from that day on, the Heaven Earth Faction would become a name forever remembered in the history of the Zhuangshan Monastery. Chapter 180 10,000 Beast Essence Blood Translator Born to be three days time passed quickly. By the time the third day was over, everyone's spirits had already recovered. After that life and death experience, after a tempering of blood and fire, the brilliance within this group of spoiled disciples had finally begun to blossom. Although they couldn't be said to have already unsheathed their sharp airs, at the very least they were no longer a group of trash. They already had the embryonic air of experts. Thousands of disciples had gathered in the Zhuangshan Plaza. This huge plaza that was hundreds of miles wide was bustling with noise. At the center of the plaza was a huge sculpture hundreds of meters tall. That sculpture was of a man with a long sword in his hand. He pointed up to the heavens with a will that wished to destroy the world. That statue was said to the be Zhuangshan Dao sect's ancestral founder. However this statue seemed as if it had already existed here before the Zhuangshan monastery had even been established. After the eruption of time. It was already somewhat broken down, but that disdainful will hadn't changed in the slightest. Below that huge statue were hundreds of green-robed disciples that were frantically bustling. There were men and women amongst them, but the majority were women. They were currently nervously sticking some small syringes into the arms of the disciples. After taking out a drop of blood and putting it into metal container, they also recorded the name, gender, age, and other information about that disciple. At the fringe of the plaza were two youths sitting below a large tree. One of them was squinting at that sculpture. After staring for a while, he asked the other, Guo Ran, are you sure we should go up last? Guo Ran confidently said, trust me boss, according to my information, those people collecting blood are all newbies who just joined the sect letting them collect blood is a trial for them. At the beginning they'll all poke you several times with those needles before finally getting a drop of essence blood. If you don't believe me, just look at how nervous they are. Even their hands are trembling. Trust me boss, I can't possibly be wrong. Long Chen truly did see those people were extremely nervous. But wasn't it just to take out a drop of blood? There was no need for them to be like this. However, to give Guo Ran face, Long Chen didn't say anything. The two of them just stared up at that statue. He didn't know why, but looking at this statue, it almost felt as if this statue was alive. Although that kind of thinking was laughable. He was sure he felt it. That feeling was extremely mysterious. Okay boss, it's time. Almost everyone's gone. So we can go now too. The time had flown by without him knowing as he stared at the statue. Almost everyone had finished. Long Chen nodded. Previously there had been many people, including Lai Qianchang and Qixin. He also saw a couple of very powerful fellows. He had agreed to Guo Ran's suggestions also because he didn't want to run into those fellows. As soon as they saw Long Chen they would start wildly sneering and barking at him like a dog. Long Chen felt there was no need to disgrace himself by exchanging insults with them. He didn't want to be mocked by the people of the other four areas. But he had secretly observed that there really were many powerful figures appearing. Their auras were shocking. Not at all inferior to Lai Qianchang and them. Just now Lai Qianchang had almost gotten into a fight with another core disciple. The both of them were extremely arrogant and had disdainfully looked down on the other, creating sparks. But unfortunately, just as those sparks were about to explode, they were shooed off by the senior disciples in charge of this place. Those disciples were actually familiar to Long Chen. One of them was that grave senior apprentice brother one he had seen at the beginning. Guo Ran and Long Chen walked up now that everyone had left. So senior apprentice brother one just happened to see Long Chen. He nodded to him. Not bad. I heard everything about what happened in the trial. He, 
Didn't I end up failing in the end? Don't tease Junior Disciple like this. Sorry we came late. The inspections aren't over yet. Right. Laughed Long Chen. Long Chen's gut told him the senior apprentice brother Wan was an old-fashioned person who wouldn't casually laugh at others. That kind of person was extremely upright, causing others to easily form good opinions of him. You're not late. I still have some work to do so I'll be going. Senior apprentice brother Wan turned and left. But before he did, a strange light flashed in his eyes. Long Chen immediately felt something was off. Looking at the place to register, he saw there were over a dozen maidens that were red from being scolded by their senior apprentice sister. He had no idea what they were doing. One of the people in charge of the registration was just boringly playing with her brush. Sorry to trouble you, but we came late. Can we still register? Politely said Guo Ran Novaloon.com That person turned to look at Long Chen and Guo Ran, her expression filled with absolute delight, looking as if they had just saved her life. She excitedly called out to the people behind her, those of you who haven't finished the trial, quickly come, there's two more people here, those maidens who were dispiritedly being scolded immediately became like they had heard the sounds of heaven and turned to stare at Long Chen and Guo Ran, both of them were given a fright, they looked like hungry wolves looking at two sheep. A quarter hour later, both Guo Ran and Long Chen dispiritedly left the plaza, their entire upper arms feeling like they had been stung by bees. In all his years, Long Chen had never been used as an experimental object to be used by others. But in front of those lovely and pitiful junior sisters, how could he have the heart to refuse? The person in charge of that trial had said that if those maidens' techniques were not satisfactory, they would be forced to leave. As a result, those sisters had practically begged them for help. Guo Ran and Long Chen had surrendered to them, resulting in this miserable end. Guo Ran, this was your plan. Long Chen took a deep breath, trying to keep his contempt from his voice. However, he found he really was unable to do that. About that, boss, that was definitely just an exception. Next time it won't happen again. Guo Ran was also depressed. No one could have expected the situation would end up like this. The Zhuangshan Monastery was extremely large, so even walking back took a long time. Just to go from the plaza to their mountain required a full two hours of their time. By the time they got back, everyone was already gathered. Tang Wan'er glared at the two of them angrily. What were you two doing? Hurry up. The rewards are already being passed out. Only then did Long Chen realize there was a small jug in front of everyone. Those jugs were similar to wine jugs. But he wondered what was inside these. Guo Ran was given a jug. But as for Long Chen's portion, Tang Wan'er did not give it to him. Inside the jugs is 10,000 beast essence blood. Absorb the essence blood inside and your body's blood energy will rise to the peak, giving you a high chance of a flawless advancement. Everyone excitedly examined the liquid inside the jugs. Most of them clearly knew what it was, that had bitterly kept their cultivation bases within the blood condensation realm all for this day. All for this 10,000 beast essence blood. The quality of advancements was split into flawed, imperfect, flawless, and perfect. In the secular world, almost all advancements were flawed. Such an advancement would have a destabilizing effect on one's foundation, becoming a great hindrance in one's future cultivation. But there was no way around it. Most martial artists didn't have the powerful resources required to build a solid foundation. That was a kind of destiny that was very difficult to change. The next level was imperfect, which was usually the highest level most powerful families' disciples could reach. It would leave a slight imperfection on the foundation when advancing. It would definitely have an effect on their future cultivation. But it was much, much less than the impact of a flawed advancement. The third level was flawless. Something countless experts dreamed about obtaining. If they could reach that mark, then the impact left behind by their advancement would basically be nothing. As for the final level, that was called perfect. It was even more flawless than flawless. A level of advancement that simply could not be hoped for. Even monster class geniuses would need to rely on luck and opportunity for that. And so most people wouldn't even try for such an extravagant level. In their eyes, a flawless advancement was already perfect. Such an advancement would give one hope for reaching Xi'anshan one day. Even if that hope was extremely remote. Otter disciples can use their badge to go exchange for one spirit stone and 500 points from the Xi'anshan pavilion. Inner disciples can receive three spirit stones and 2000 points. These are given once a month as your rations wages. As for how to use your spirit stones and points, you can all return to your own residences. Each person's room has a wall that has explanations for that. Once you all return, take a good look over it. Remember, time is pressing. 
When you return, quickly make your breakthroughs. Another huge competition is about to commence. Solemnly warned Tang Wan'er. Sister Wan'er, what kind of competition is it? Curiously asked one maiden. Tang Wan'er smiled slightly. I can't tell you for now. But all you need to know is that the stronger everyone is, the more benefits and resources we can obtain. On the other hand, if we are too weak, we'll only be bullied within the monastery. So we must work hard to be strong. Once everyone returned to their own immortal caves to cultivate and there was no one else around, Tang Wan'er turned to Long Chen. How come what I say doesn't seem to inspire them as much as what you said back then? Tang Wan'er still remembered how Long Chen had just said a couple random things to fire everyone up. Even that fear of death in their hearts had been overcome. She had been hoping to boost everyone's morale this time, but she was never able to learn his morale-boosting technique. In the end, she sighed dejectedly. Long Chen laughed. That's because your skin isn't thick enough. You have to drink enough that you don't even recognize your own family and boast so shamelessly that even you can't believe your own words. Ah, young people really do need to train more. Tang Wan'a rolled her eyes at him and taunted. Keep laughing. If you don't want top grade 10,000 beast essence blood, then just keep on laughing there. I'm going home. Tang Wan'a walked back into her immortal cave. King Yu was to the side covering up her laughter. Long Chen stared blankly. Top grade 10,000 beast essence blood. Only then did he react and hastily follow her.